This is the Jack Moo Podcast, where we recognize and represent great individuals and great stories. Stories that you probably never heard of or just overlook. Just like the Jack in a Deck of Cards, it's not as significant as the King or Queen, but it's still highly regarded and has value. These are the guests that we like to introduce. Please subscribe and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, IG, or YouTube. You can also listen to our podcast on iTunes, iHeartRadio, Spotify, or wherever you listen to your podcasts. Welcome to the Jack Moose Podcast. I'm Lewis. And I'm Dr. Kent. On this episode today, we're going to talk about dating and relationships one-on-one. And also, while we're doing it, we have two young ladies here, the, the uh, sexy ladies of Sister Locks. <laughs> and uh, basically, we're going to uh, talk about, with Spades, we're going to talk about dating and relationships. We're going to just have an open, free conversation and just kind of go from there. Um, and we've already dealt our first hand. And basically, when we get started, I want to have um, each of us kind of introduce ourselves, relationship status, kind of what we are. I'll start with myself. Um, Kent, I'm divorced. I'm Tanel. I'm licensed as a married and family therapist, and I've never been married. <laughs> I'm Jennifer, and I'm also single, never married. I'm Lewis. I'm married. <laughs> I'm not in the, in, the, in the bunch. I'm the, I'm the grown up. Let's go. Yeah. So what we've already done, we've already dealt the cards. We're gonna ready to play. We're just gonna play um to seven. So um, Jennifer and I are playing, and Lewis and Tanella are playing, and we're gonna get started going. Um, and uh, Tanella dealt, so it'll be Jennifer's hand. And after we've kind of introduced ourselves, we kind of I wanna um. I know we talked about it, and it's been talked about crazy over the week and everything, but I did want to lead with it because it is a current topic. Will Smith's um, actions. Was it defending her honor, or was it an overreactive, insecure, um, emasculated man? What do y'all think? You want me to go? Go! Yeah, 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 yeah. Go. Well, I believe that it's more than even just the emasculation, and I think it's just when people don't deal with what they have going on in their lives, it builds up, and then you just explode, and I just think that's what was going on in that moment. But I also don't really think it's real. What do you mean you don't think it's real? What, 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 what does that mean? Mm-hmm. You think you think it was set up by the Illuminati? No, I just think it was kind of staged. Uh, staged by Chris and Will Smith, or staged as in... Yeah, I think so. Have you maybe other people are involved? Have you seen the new clip came out by TMZ where um, Jada Smith is actually laughing when Will walks down the step? Walks down the step. What do you think about that? Like, as in, like you know, oh my man slapped that dude. You see that? You know, and she was t ha ha. You know, kind of as as if she already gave the dirty look. As in, oh, so you laughing? Now what are you gonna do now? And he had to buck. Because he already got August Alcina. So I think what you're talking about is a significant problem in relationships. We read into things without asking. We assume based off of by language mm-hmm. instead of saying, hey, that facial expression that you're making, what does that mean? And I think that's what humans have done. Nobody was like, nobody was next to Jada. Nobody asked Jada. So any behavior can be interpreted as anything that we want it to be, especially if it's all about drama and continuing to talk mm-hmm. about something that gets the focus off our own personal lives. That's what so you saying that Will could have read it wrong? I'm talking about the people that keep talking about the situation. Could have read it wrong. <laughs> well, let me let me ask let me ask this <laughs> let me ask this question a different way. Yes. Like you're okay, you're out on a date with your with with with, with, with your man, and. I don't know if you know who Clarissa Shields is. She's the, a boxing heavyweight champion. And Clarissa Shields just comes up to your man and just touches him right in the crotch. Says, Ugh. <laughs> now, what you going to do to Clarissa Shields? Excuse me. Um... Make a phone call. This hand is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> this hand is all... I'm not going to do anything. I'm a nonviolent person. I don't even yell. That's true. Thank you. Thank no, you, yeah, and yeah, she I didn't even yell. Yeah. I, so you're just going to let, like, I mean, she getting a good, like, a good hunk of it, you know, just going, <laughs> just just getting a good hunk of your man crotch. You're just going to eat that? It's Carissa Shields. She, she throw them hands, though. 
but I don't. I'm not a violent person. I just told you I don't. So it email. doesn't matter who it is. Is what you're saying. You you wouldn't yeah. do anything. I would be curious. I, I'm so you gotta remember. I'm I'm the therapist. So I'm gonna be curious about her What's behavior. Like, hey, what outcome are you seeking by grabbing my man's balls? You have <laughs> you have a conversation. I would have a conversation with her. But that's what I do. I do it for a living. So general. <laughs> Um, Cl- uh, Clarissa, she got a good hand. I mean, she all up in there. She <laughs> he, in there. He, 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 he wasn't good. Oh. She, 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 Y'all she, can't multi-task. She got an index finger in the tape. You know, she she <laughs> in there. What you gonna do with um, Clarissa Shields? She throw them hands now. Well. <laughs> <laughs> you undecided? I'm undecided. Mm. Because, you know, of course, I would want to approach the situation, you know, as professionally as I can. But wow. then I also know my other side as well. So it's probably dependent upon, you know, which gen they get in that day. <laughs> <laughs> well, because I... I just I don't see even I would want to I would be curious as well. Even the know? therapist here is kind of like no nah, I don't know I think she's gonna be a little right. bit like I, you know I would be a little curious as yeah, well like um or you gonna look at your man like are you enjoying a, it? It may be an a, a, an approach you know you go, um, you gonna look at him so it's his fault that somebody else grabbed him like no it's not like, necessarily it's, 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 it's yeah. but um but. Because I'm just thinking about it like, um, you know, Martin Lawrence has the, the infamous um, what I do if Mike Tyson punch my lady. Right. <laughs> so what, you know, what, what am I supposed to do, you know? And um, that's your third. And you play the ace. Oh, shit. My bad. Yeah, Appreciate you, Bubba. Yeah, I see you trying to slip that out there, man. Appreciate you, Bubba. Yeah, that, that's all right. I got you. But um, I don't think y'all be that way. But, you know, so what do you think about it? Um, emasculation. What you think? Give me more context. Yes, that's what I was say. We got the. Do you think it was more? Is, there's more to the story than him just um, <clears throat> reacting to what Chris Rock said. There's more to the story, wouldn't you say? Of course. Yes. I gotta say, but they, I think it's typically always more to the story, mm-hmm. more beyond the eyes. You know okay. what the eyes can see. So. We really don't know. Really and don't. then, and then they've come out today that they're going to do a red talk table, uh, red red table talk next week. That's crazy. I, I mean, number Is one, this, the the question that you had. Let, let me go ahead and tell you how a man would handle that if that happened, vice versa. It was a man did that to a, a, hit the woman that he's with. There would be a fight ensued nine times out of ten. I mean, because outside of just that, it's just disrespectful. It is blatant disrespect. So it'd be probably some physical contact going on with that with that move. Okay. So. So in the moment that I know this is off time, in the moment that you would address that physically, what what are you hoping would happen? Because it's not going to stop what already has happened. We don't. We we're not thinking that far in advance. It's a it, it's it's a it's a violation. It's a disrespectful violation, and it's got to be checked. Like I said, a lot of times the way men operate in their space. It's like playground rules. It's not really that complicated. There's things you do, and then there's there's going to be a tax for that if you do that. Like, and we know that now. It might be a man who don't respect. It. He know what's going to come, and don't think that you're not going to do anything because he's bigger, stronger, or whatever. He might just try you just because he can. You know what I mean? And but still, a fight ensues, and you show him like I might get beat, but you're not going to sit here and do this in front of me. And, and that's just how guys. Yeah. Operate in that space. If you talk to God, something that blatant, you know, if he grabs your woman's hand, it's like, hey, what, what are you doing? You know, yeah. you know. But if they violate like that, he could pull. He 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 called your hand. You got to. Yeah. So there's another option. Yeah. You know, and if he didn't, then his woman ain't gonna respect him no more. Absolutely. Like if you did, if he did, if that what I'm saying, that intrusive is what the example that he gave you. Like there, he forced your hand. Yeah, exactly. Cause I mean, and even if I didn't want it, I just gotta take this whooping. Cause that, I mean, cause at the crib, Will is the man right now. That's right. Even though it's wrong, you mm-hmm. know, wrong time. But at the at the at the crib, she's looking at him different. Like you know, she's like, looking at him yeah. like you know, like Tupac in ninety four. Yeah. Like yeah, mm-hmm. man, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's that Tupac right there. Yeah, Machiavelli. Yeah, you know, you know. Yeah, he got some love for that. that yeah, he did. Oh, yeah. yeah. He was he was the he was the hero in in his house, but he was a zero everywhere else for a second. Yeah, but he um. What's her name? Ian LeVanzant said that that's how you protect your woman's honor. Now, that's what she said. Do you think it's protection of a woman's honor? 
For what? <gasps> what we protect and honor for what? What do y'all think? I think maybe this is why I'm single because my emotional intelligence, I just don't. <laughs> <laughs> like I I mean I don't need anybody to protect my honor because I'm going to act in honorable ways anyway so and I doubt that many people will come at me because I believe we teach people how to treat us so if I present myself as Lewis has been saying I'm the queen all night thank you, mm -hmm. thank you. Mm -hmm. I didn't say you were the queen I said I the mom called you the queen as the it's queen then I think I'm gonna get that you built this yeah okay. but I, I believe if we're talking psych, you know about this in a psychological manner they aired all of their stuff out in the community and so when when she not they she aired it no he was part of that he said at that yeah. red table he, too. yeah but after after the information already came back he was invited to call to the to the table from her but she's the one it was the reason all that came out he did not come out and made us tweeted of his business or any of that stuff that's not on him but he so but my point is though when he sat there at that red table and spoke to her now the world is watching and now they are giving it was a, their it own was, opinions and perceptions it was, it was a bad and idea. now they're attacking him for just you know that experience never mm -hmm. mind what everybody else is going through in their own probably personal relationships that th that opened the door for people to now say what, and do whatever they want to say. Yeah, but but the bad part about it is he is getting part of this. He okay, it was a bad idea because he should have said no. As a man, he should have <laughs> took a stand and just like, nah, I'm not doing that. Okay, so yeah, he's guilty as a man of agreeing to some foolishness. He shouldn't have done that. But that information came out mm -hmm. that for her transgression and her picking whoever she picked to that would Fair. tell their secrets. Yeah. You know, so that's not him, and that's the bad thing about it. Like you, 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 you get blame regardless of what in, whatever happens. But will 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 didn't have anything to do with that at all. It wasn't his. Um, but I think society are clowned him about right. that. Oh yeah. And so that's what I'm saying. So oh, yeah. now he that I believe he felt like he had maybe no other choice but to at that point defend her honor because of everything that they had gone through publicly. This is mm -hmm. my thoughts. All right, let's get to the other dude. Chris Rock. Did he do, was there anything he should have done different? I mean, an, overre wow. an overreactor as a man, mm -hmm. you know, being two, you know, two brothers on stage. He acted, there was a no-win situation. <laughs> you know what I said, go get him. But it was uh -uh. a... You better play with lead. Spade's lead. Spade, spade, spade lead. Oh, Spade's lead. Oh. Oh, okay, then you play with that one then. You play whatever. <laughs> She's new. We need to let the audience know. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I'm new to this. <laughs> She's in training. She's gonna she's gonna wear one regardless though. We take no prisoners. <laughs> What's your question? Well I was asking in regards to Chris Rock, was there anything I mean, was there anything else he could have done outside of take that hit and, and walk his ass off stage? I believe that there's always things that people can do differently if we have a great <laughs> <laughs> mind. I, I just tell, tell me what, 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 what else could yeah, what else done? that man done? Fight and not and not I mean, and not publicly. What's it happened? And not publicly be ridiculed. When that man's walking up there to him, what I mean is it? Well, the, again, the way I'm watching, and I get sometimes when we are not sure what's happening, we might get in that kind of freeze mode. Mm. But I, I just in my experience, I don't. Seem like I seem like he leaned into it. Like if somebody's walking at me, mm -hmm. one of the things I'm probably gonna do is take a few steps back. I don't see him, and maybe because I, I didn't watch the clip that mm -hmm. long. Um, I didn't know that's a very good because I didn't think like you know what you think about to go down a man walking up to you. You know, I mean, well, I could tell you, he he thought. Hey, I'm on live international TV. He ain't gonna do that. And, and no, he might have grabbed the mic or you, you, you know what I mean, said some choice word, but at no idea. I thought I bet you this man had no idea that. Sweat, sweat, hitting him was on the menu, and that's I, I probably agree. why. Again, he, he's he's <laughs> trying to, to present an image. He's got a job to do, and he's standing there. Now, I would uh two oh, two oh, two oh, oh, okay. Yeah, make sure you ain't dang trying to steal I ain't gonna teach him, okay. yeah. yeah. gonna teach him Bubba. But uh, we only playing we're playing the seven. Now ain't gonna do the third. Yeah. <laughs> Don't come <laughs> <laughs> but, but um, yeah, I, I mean, at no, I, at no point do I think that he thought that he was going to get in. I don't, I don't, I don't think he, he, he I, I, I mean. Yeah, no, I mean, listen, he was shot. The guy came up there, but, I, you know, grabbed the mic of Kanye West or whatever, but not hitting somebody. I mean, hey, this is the biggest award ceremony for those guys. I mean, who does that? 
probably the only thing else I think, in my opinion, he could have done was go go comedian on him. I think he handled it the and right he, way. After and the fact. He, after the fact, he probably did. But yeah. just go joke straight Corey Holcomb on him, which would have been wrong. You know, it would have been wrong. Oh, terrible! You know, just straight August Alcina jokes. You know, <laughs> just just go in. Now that uh, yeah. uh, you got, you know, some Dwayne Martin gay gay rumors jokes. You know, just just go all in on. Them. Nah. but that would have been terrible. Nah, he did. He did. The but right thing. a different comedian yeah. probably would. Yeah. Probably would. Yeah. DL probably would have got. Him. He'd have kept. Oh, him. I think he would have. Yeah, but DL. I said, think it would have been a fight. Uh, you know, a lot of those other guys. I mean, the right thing happened, you yeah. know. I mean, you know, I don't know whether Will targeted him or not and would have, you know, if it was another comedian, would have done it. I have no idea. Yeah. But I think yeah. Chris Rock handled it professionally. Gotcha. I mean, gotcha. I, I would have been flustered. I, I wouldn't have known what to say. Mm -hmm. I would had to end it and walk off. I, I, gotcha. I couldn't have done it. Gotcha. Yeah. Well, listen, we're going to pivot into what we're here for. Yeah. yeah. Let me, so... Mm -hmm. For the ladies, what's the best way to approach you? If you're being, if if your guy's coming to approach you in any way, anywhere, you know, normal place, what's the best way to approach you? Well, I would say, um, definitely respectfully, because the hissing and the cooing and the, all of that, that's just, I'm, I'm definitely going to keep walking. Hey, Sean. <laughs> I'm going to keep walking. Or I'm going to act like you don't even exist because okay. I'm a respectable lady, so I would ask that you approach me respectfully. Okay. Um, uh, excuse me, miss. You okay. Know, like, okay. You know, like, no, no touching. Anybody touching? No touching. I mean, I'm just saying. If somebody knows, I heard women say that before. Like they don't like so somebody don't know to touch them. Is when that, I was that, younger, and I, if I was at the mall or at the club, if somebody, I don't know what it was. If you touched my right. arm, right? That was. I don't care how high yeah. you look. That was a complete. So no, turn. That was a turn off. See, we, we didn't learn that in class. So I what's the best way to get your attention? That we didn't learn. How about that small of the back? Excuse me. The no. Terrible too. Small of the back. Terrible too. That could be yes, a little touchy too. Okay. Just, you know, oh, just, yeah. just you know, come in and just. Yeah, I, mean, I mean, we just need to do, you know. I mean, guys need to know because I mean, you know, I mean, I, I wouldn't have thought it was a big deal or it's so offensive to somebody to touch. Just an excuse, you know. I mean, not in an aggressive way, like yeah. yeah. No, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm with you, but I mean, I mean, I think as guys, there's aggressive and not aggressive. If somebody touch a guy and it's not aggressive, we don't feel that way. You know what I mean? And it's like, you know, you talk to a lot of women. Any touch at all is like a violation. It's not. Hey, I want to. I'm interested in you. I want to talk to you. A slight touch, it's it's like you know, lose my lunch. You know what I mean? So it's just you know, we just need to know <laughs> what it is. I, I mean, because it's just not how we are, how we interact. You know what I mean? And then right. it's not really taught until you talk to other ladies and they say like, you know, no, nah. nah, I don't, I don't like that. Like, okay, well. <laughs> it's, it's just not intuitive to us that you know you just automatically know it you know I think now like I don't make eye contact mm -hmm. so if I don't make eye contact with you don't approach me mm. so is that do you think but do you talk to a lot of other women do you is that standard because again yeah. guys can't I think why a lot of men have problem in the dating arena because everything is so variable. Like there's no is if you, most women do they feel that way? I mean, is that? I don't doubt it. I think most. I think now most guys shoot their shot in, in your DM. Like they just yeah. I mean it, the whole social media. Yeah, stuff is I was about to say there's no. Yeah. Now is the, now when you say eye contact, are you, is that your way of saying that you're interested? Oh, if I'm interested, you'll know. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. Okay. That's, okay. That so, might make the first. So I don't have a problem. But most that. women, I mean, but that's odd for that's, that's women. I don't think most women would make the first. Would you no. make the first move, Jenna? I'm it depends. So may, maybe, it just maybe. Depends and your, on what. And your first how, how much you like them? How much you like yeah, the person? Yeah, like practice? just how much I'm attracted. How much they've kind of you know. Mm -hmm. I won't necessarily say stimulated, but you know, mm -hmm. like just. No, but I'm just saying. <laughs> no, 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 but I'm just saying. Like you're in an event, and the guy's over there. He might not even notice you. I mean, would you? How do you? How do you? I'm gonna. I'm gonna look at him. Yeah. So I would I definitely mean, gonna, try to yeah, make. Yeah, I would eye make eye contact. contact. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then I might walk by him because I got a sexy walk, even mm -hmm. though it's pigeon toe. <laughs> <laughs> it's <funny. laughs> Well, yeah, definitely. Okay. Okay. So say he's shy and he doesn't mm -hmm. say anything. Hmm. Yeah, I, I, would, I don't have a problem asking 
Okay, you were doing okay. But I, but I, but I do think. He, he, from what the women I talk to, that's not average. I, don't I mean, know. The average. No, I know, but we we we're, we're, we're kind of trying to have a we're trying, I don't, I don't we're, know. We're, we're trying truth. to have a conversation yeah. in the average. I don't thing. think most women are gonna. But I, I disagree because you also now have dating apps and where women can make the first move. They mm. can say, Initiate, "Hey, yeah." Yes, yeah, so I I think that's different. I think the younger generation might not. They might not be bothered by it as much as you think they are. I think they might shoot their shot. Yeah. If they're interested, you're right. Yeah. You're right. You're right. Now, have you ever, like, um, you know, because I'm pretty sure you. On me, right? Yeah. Yeah. Me. I'm pretty sure you've done it. You've been in an event, club, whatever, and you tell a guy, stay right here, I'm going to be right back. <laughs> you ever came back? No. <laughs> <laughs> stay right here, bro. I'm going to be right back. That is definitely a way to get rid of them. That's your. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> some some guys can be pretty persistent. Very. So as in, okay. Is that, is that a bad thing or a good thing? It depends. Whether you like them or not. Right. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> See, the variable thing come up again. Mm -hmm. So deep. So, like, okay. So what? Do you accept a drink? From a guy? No, I don't drink. Well, you don't drink. Do you set the drink from a guy? Drink? No, yeah. no, not. Not in this day and age. Not no. typically, no. Because okay, because when you accept the drink, he owns you for at least the next four hours. Yeah, no. No. What? <laughs> in his mind? Oh, I bought you I a drink. I didn't even think there was thing. ever. This thing cost you ten dollars, girl. Well, I, I, I think yeah. I think a guy. I mean, he's interested. If he buys you that drink, and and I think it's if you accept it. Oh, I it never means, experienced that. Yeah. I just like you know we would go yeah. out in the clubs and they. I was just on dance, dance yeah. floor, so yeah. Yeah. No, but I think generally, if a guy buys you a drink, he's he's interested. And if you accept Absolutely. it, that just means, you know, to a guy that means that he has a chance that you're interested. Which in today's guy, you know, I think women takes it because it's an opportunity. I don't think they're free drink. Yeah, it's a free drink. So you know, free drink. Uh, you know. So what's the what's the first thing you notice about a guy? Hmm. I'm shallow. I <laughs> well, go ahead. Go ahead. That's what I was like, wait, now you got me thinking. You see, we got some scuffs on the shoes or something. Did he take that book? He did. Okay. Oh, my bad. I'm, I'm sorry. That's right. that, that that was the king. I paid the king, didn't I? Okay. Okay. Um, hey, hey, hey. Hurry up. Watch him. <clears throat> he got some scuffs on his shoes, or he got some... Um... But uh, So when I say I'm shallow, I don't, like, I'm not about, like, clothes or anything like that. I'm just in terms of, like, looks. Like, if, if you are attracted, if I'm attracted to how you look, I'm going to shoot my shot. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now you're is well, okay. Well, what? And then I like the way I watch how they walk. If I like your walk, then that's even better. Okay. okay. So okay. So what's your deterrent from that? What do you see about his that like his his belt don't match his shoes? No, I don't care about that. You don't care. So he got brown belt and some black shoes. You good? How about you, you, you can fix that, right? It, you can fix that. that. <laughs> you can fix that. <laughs> Right, that's something that could be worked on, though. Yeah. If he got, if he in there with them three straps, his shoes got three straps on the top. That's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have to be about about orthopedic <laughs> shoes. <laughs> <laughs> I can fix that. You, you can work on that, though. Where I go? Mm -hmm. I mean, definitely, you have to attract. You know, be attractive to me for sure. Mm -hmm. Like for me to engage. I mean, because mm -hmm. why not else? Like why? Waste? Yeah. Your time and his time. <laughs> <laughs> so, is that the most important thing? No, it's definitely not the most important thing. To be attracted thing. to somebody? I mean, they got to be some attra uh, attraction. But right. what I'm saying is the level. I mean, do you got to be head over, like, smoking hot, no, attractive? No, but on attractive level? doesn't necessarily mean you have to be, like... I mean, because everybody's level of attraction is different, right? Mm -hmm. So, of course, I know for myself, like, intellectual, like, mm -hmm. if I can hold an intelligent conversation with you as mm -hmm. well, like, mm -hmm. if you talking to me ignorantly, I'm not, that's right. Turn off. shot, mm -hmm. done. Mm -hmm. Don't call, don't text, mm -hmm. don't any of that anymore. Mm -hmm. um, but I love humor as well, you know, like, so it just, yeah. but you have to engage in, in that. 
you have to be able to engage in that mm-hmm. in that moment. I'm looking for somebody that if we're gonna be together, you need to be my best friend. Yeah, like, I like, want to be able to share. Right, I found it. Yeah, everything. Mm-hmm. Everything with you. With you. Yeah, okay. I agree with. Yeah, absolutely. That's me. I don't know if that's doable. What's that? <laughs> yeah, you gotta have that. <laughs> Best friend. Well, what? Not doing, how is that friendship is foundation? Though? Well, I mean, you, I mean, you can be friends or whatever else, but a, a, a lot of a lot of time, our interests ain't gonna be the same. Ain't gonna line up and be the same. I mean, you know, because you gotta, you gotta be able to like watch TV together, stuff like you know, just regular general. You can do that, but yeah, what I'm saying. But if if Tanel wants me to watch, I don't know what y'all watch. Um, like the, the hanging out with the Kardashians, right? If you watching that trash. I, you know, I, if I if this is spend it spend the spend um, time together time, mm-hmm. then I'm just gonna be daydreaming in my mind. Oh, I mean, I'm doing again? this. I missed hmm? it because I was stressed out about that. <laughs> <laughs> he said he don't want to watch no, your TV what, show. No, what I'm saying is we don't have the same interests. The whole best friend type stuff or whatever else. Like me and the quadster, we're be, we're, we're I don't want to say we're best friends, but we're really good friends, right? You know, and I don't say we ain't best friends. Damn man, that's some fucked up shit. No, I, no, I just say that because I can't speak to you. You know what I mean? You my man, but I'm just you're saying. You my man, Luke. Okay, you're well, then we best, best friends, man. right? So I'm just saying we hanging out because we got common interests. I got you know, he damn like, near died a couple times from you. So you my that, man. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to hear. I, I didn't want to speak to you. So I mean, so um. Okay. So, so all I'm all I'm saying is you gotta have that you gotta have that common interest together. That's all. Right. And we don't we don't we don't you know women and men for the most part we don't have the, the same common interest. Every once in a while you might get lucky. But I think friendship is about being able to celebrate your differences as well and being okay with that. So I don't think you have to we have to be alike. We don't have to dress alike. We don't have to talk alike. I just want to be able to share my soul with you. And if I can't do that, then I don't want to be in a relationship with you. Okay. Now you said oh, you gave me a whole lot of a word sandwich, which I don't know what that means. Oh, okay. Man. I mean, I'm saying. That, it, I, I, I mean, I just want to be. We don't have to. We don't have to think alike. We don't have to look alike. We don't have. I'm just saying. I want to be. If it ain't I looking can't good talk for y'all. to I'm you, I'm sorry, Janelle. It ain't looking good for y'all. It's not looking good for us tonight. If we, if we, mm-hmm. and she reneged, but that's not. <laughs> <laughs> we want to <laughs> We gonna let that go. Yeah, like, you, 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 yeah, that was all. Yeah, that's all right. That's all right. No, we let it go because we know, you know. No, no. <laughs> she learned off YouTube. <laughs> that's all right. Y'all don't come from me. No, we ain't coming from you, man. We appreciate okay. you. Okay, so you you made eye contact, you liked him. Mm-hmm. You know, he took a shower, so he smelled okay. Oh yeah. So he gave me your number. You gave a number and. Y'all talk and you want to have a date. Mm-hmm. Um, in regards to this date, do you? What's your input on this date? Do you want to have any input? Do you want him to be, you know, the planner and let it, you know, plan this first date, or do you want to have an input? Like, if, like if he might be a, is it a problem if he's like a, you know, a old Charlie's guy, you know? Yeah, I don't eat old Charlie. And see. <laughs> So he, he might he might have you a red lobster with some old cheddar old biscuits. I don't eat red lobster. I'm a damn. So wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. what do you mean you don't eat red lobster, so, old Charlie's? So what, you telling me you can't go to a place and find something on the menu? If I, so if I said I want to take you to old Charlie's, what are you gonna say? You know what? Why don't you just say I'm gonna cook you some salmon no, and a well, salad? That's what I, I would okay. say. I would but, take but, take a home cook meal. But wait a minute. Okay, cool. But that ain't on the menu. I said I'm gonna take you to Old Charlie's. What's wrong with Old I Charlie's? Mean, I would go to Old Charlie's. Thank you. Now, let's talk Your about bread you. Bread tastes like soap. Nah, red okay, well, you, lobster. I'm you know what? Sure don't eat bread. I don't like their food. Okay, okay, we'll find something on the menu. The you ever had chicken dinner? You imagine the chicken dinner? I don't know, but their food quality is just like fish. Oh, it's terrible. I don't. It's terrible. So I'm not gonna go there. I'm not gonna go there. I'm just saying on the quality of this man's pocket. You know, like. So here's the thing: if if I approach Lewis. And he's all of that. And if I ask Lewis out, I'm going to suggest where we're going to go. I'm going to pay for the date. Right. I'm going to pick the place. And if he asks me out, then I will let him choose where we want to go. Now, you talk about paying a meal. Like, I mean, okay. We, we don't go pay. This, I, I got your point. And, and that's, so the reason I would offer is so that they, they won't have the expectation that they're going to have sex with me. So if, I, if we go out, I'm probably going to say, I'll, I got this. Especially if I already know that you're not going to get any. Because like you said, if you buy me a drink and you believe that you deserve some of my time, you no. You can't say me. I'm just saying well, I'm just in, general, general. General. in general. In general. Fine, I'm stalking. Don't stalk me. I'm stalking you all night. Right. Where you going? You Where you at? I'm standing outside the bathroom. No, but I mean, what? Well, if he's a good dude, he should offer. If he asks, he should ask you out. 
on the date. You know, like over the phone, whatever. Y'all talking on the phone, whatever, da 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 Let's go out to da 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 wherever. Does, you know, and he offers to ask you on a date. And say, you're like, hey, it's a it's a restaurant not off the paw that you that you would like to go. What's your input on the date? Would you say it or would you just say, you know, get your admiral um shrimp feast and, and be okay with your admiral shrimp feast and um cheddar biscuits? I would say what <laughs> what I like because if you don't you set the stage if this relationship should proceed you set the stage already of hiding who you are and then and I'm only saying this because I talk to a lot of couples and they don't have these conversations and now they uh -huh. five ten fifteen years in married and they don't know anything about the other person because they mm -hmm. they wore they a mask. Them. To meet this person and to be everything this person wanted to be. So I'm going to tell you, I don't eat at Old Charlie's. Is there any other place that you can think of? Or here are my three favorite places and you can choose one of those three favorite places. Okay. I mean that's better. I mean, okay, I mean that that that's better because at least he has <laughs> options. But, I mean, but if if, if you if you if, if you yeah, but, but because, I mean, I think we blow this stuff out of. If you've been dating somebody or married to somebody five years, you know that's on you. Because at some point, I'm just saying, when a man, if a man has initially taught you, a lot of time it has to do with his budget or what he needs to do. I mean, if you throw this on him and you say, "Hey, I'm on California dreaming," he says, "Oh, Charlie," he might not have California dreaming money. So you just put him in a position. Okay, for him, because I really like you, I really, well, uh, okay, pick the place, uh, you know, or Ruth Chris, but anyway, that man might not have Ruth Chris cut of money, him. okay, mm -hmm. so he, you put him in a position that now he has to, because he's got to make a decision, like, I really like to know, <laughs> I don't have a whole blood. lot of money, <laughs> no, right. let, let me make let a phone call, and try to, this exactly, you put an undue stress on him, but what I'm saying is, what is wrong, you can't tell me if you go to a place, you can't find something on the menu that you like or you can act like or you like maybe to get I to know research the place and I know that they may have had a B or a C from D heck and I just choose not to eat there. I'm a very natural person, so automatically if you have a conversation with me, you will know that before you maybe decide to take me out. There are just certain places I won't eat, not because of what the food costs, mm -hmm. but because of the cleanliness of the place or just my diet. Like you said, I, I don't eat to I don't like I'm not a foodie. I'm just eating what I can so I can go through the next day or have energy to, to go about my day. So I'm not I mean, I'm picky, but not for the reasons you think I am. You're right. <laughs> that, 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 that is fair. I mean, you know, that, that's absolutely fair. I mean, it's, if you give other options or you have that, that's legitimate to a guy. Right, if it's right. just you like... sit at the protein shake bar. I don't care. Yeah, yeah that, that's right. legitimate. But a lot of times, like I said, these things, when you interact with women, it has to do with money or a standard type deal. And it deals right. with money. Mm -hmm. And a guy trying to get to know you, the purpose of us going out is to get to know you, not... Hey, let me get a meal at Ruth Chris. Right. You know what I mean. No, so I if if you gave him options because you don't eat there for health reasons, that's fair. I think that's uh, guys are typically reasonable. You know what I mean. Yeah. But if it's just like I just don't eat at, you know how that comes off. What that sounds like. Yeah. Like I don't I don't eat at. High uh, maintenance. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm like they had a seed. They had I'm a seed above three this. years ago. <laughs> like, no, I mean that's fair. Yeah. I mean normally you know I yeah. mean if, if it's something like that and those are the reason that's fine. But a simple. I just don't eat here. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like... Yeah, yeah but yeah. not because of the price. That doesn't right. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Now, you, um, you said something about intelligence. Does the job, like what he does for a living, make a difference? No, not no, necessarily okay. that. Like, I'm not that, you know, surface level or whatever. Mm -hmm. Like, just be able to carry a conversation. Like, you don't you know. Know. Yeah. No, who do? I do. Yeah. It's okay. Okay. So like if so so he got his name on the shirt, that's okay. Yeah, my name Lester. My shirt. Lester. You know, he's got his name whoa, on the shirt. Whoa, 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 what's wrong with that? I got my name on my shirt. <laughs> no, I mean, you know, say hey, like a dude, you know, like, hey, he go to, like, if he go to just, work with his name on the shirt. You know I go to work with my name on my shirt. <laughs> You got you got a shirt with your name on. My name on it. Yeah, I, I got to work with my yeah. <laughs> I so what, 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 I'm just saying, like, hey, you know, say like, dude with a name on the shirt. He got like a manual job. That's fine. That's okay. Okay. I mean, from I mean, because at the end of the day, you're as you a hard worker. You provide, you know, all of that. Like, I mean, you can't. You might miss your good thing worrying about that stuff. Well, well you can't do anything illegal. Okay. Right, that part. Okay. Well, you know, a lot of you know, a lot of young ladies when they get to a certain level of of education and stature, they want someone at their 
But they Whatever. can meet someone on that stature and level and they still be trash, so... Facts. Yeah, but you, that's part of the kind of vetting type still. You gotta, if you want to accept it, we, I guess what we're talking about is that, oh, is that initial, initial, that initial okay. will, will you give me the opportunity to, to, cause some women shut you down. Like if you, that's true. if you're X, Y, Z, yeah, we're not, you know, I'm not doing this. <laughs> you right. know what I mean? No. So if you give a guy, I think everybody's fine from a, the okay. man's standpoint. Everybody's fine if you give the guy an opportunity and he gets a chance to, thank you for showing me that. Um, my fault. So I, I will. This is these are these are my non-negotiables. Mm -hmm. If you smoke okay. anything, mm -hmm. take any kind of drugs, or if you do anything illegal, those are my non-negotiables. Okay. Those are those are reasonable. What about height? Mm. I mean, <laughs> I can short can't catch hell. You can't catch hell. I can do an inch. About an inch shorter than me. So what if they ever, does that, are you, uh, like, as far as shoes, do you wear? I always wear four inch heels or higher. So that's what I'm saying. So if you're even flat, that's okay? Mm-hmm. Okay. Or less flat, you know. So what, what what's the, what's the big thing with height anyway? Why is why is height such a uh, uh, you know in everybody's top ten? Why is that why is that so important to women? What, what what is what is the thing? Why is it just like women just go around talking to each other that like these things? Because it, it seems like everybody's list is about the same. Like it's well, why is this? the fittest evolution? People believe if you're a certain height and stature, then your breed tends to last longer. You think these women put that much thought into it? Yeah. Mm. Some of it is natural. Some of it, I think, is natural. I don't think they think about anything. I just mm. think it's that, you know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you think about height, Jennifer? She's struggling. I'm struggling. I really am. With the cards? Yes. Cut them. <laughs> when, in, when in doubt, cut them. We worry about it. If you have that, <laughs> I don't have that. Cut them. If you don't have but a cut don't card, have... you just play anything. No matter. Okay. Yeah. Well. Maybe the lowest of the thing that you don't like the lowest card. I like how you said just just play something else. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't, 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 don't. Play something else. Just let it walk. Is that just like a are you tricking me? No, <laughs> you, don't, you don't have a spade and you don't you just no. have to play any other card. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. That's right. You're doing, you're, doing, you're, you're doing great. Yeah. I appreciate it. <laughs> so for me. Hi, yes, to a certain extent, you know, for me as well. I, to what extent? That too. <laughs> so what? <laughs> I'll take that as a no. <laughs> I did not say nothing. No. Uh, okay. But, I don't you know, that. typically I do like, you know, someone that's a little bit either even kill or a little bit taller than me. Mm -hmm. So do you think the same reason why it's so important is the whole evidence? Do you really put that much thought into it? Is what the issue is? Well, or is it? Is I it? Have uh, not thought that far. Right. That's what. I, that's what I was telling her. That it, <laughs> nobody. I think it's it's a, a, a you know in my opinion. I mean again you know. I think I think most of the time who play that. Me. Okay. I think I think most of the time when you hear that you you get the convoluted story. I think it has everything to do wow. with the aesthetics and the way it looks okay. and what your girlfriend say. Mm. Yeah, probably so. Yeah, I mean, I don't think they could talk about evolution and the stuff you talk about. Good lord, man! <laughs> You're right. I think I think I think That's a lot funny. of people make choices because of what they care what other people say. Man, I know that's right. Man, yeah. I know, I know that's right. Huh? Trash. Hands. <laughs> trash. I ain't gonna lie. Mine that's trash. all right. We coming for you. We gonna get it all you got. Don't worry. Look, you see, I'm probably you messing this all up. Yeah. Yeah, but. What Arts. Okay. But. No? No, you're no, good. Oh, good. Yeah, we still collect them like that. <laughs> My gold but. fan right now. <laughs> okay. Oh, boy. No, no. Oh, That's so. me? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm sorry. Are you on this first date? Okay. It goes well. Okay. Um, what, 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 what do you consider well? Like, what, can, what gets you to the second date? If you know how to talk about what you value. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Your facial expression. No. I knew it. Um, so these conversations, I know they're not happening, but they are so important to have. 
because I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna ask you on the first day, at least it's by the third for sure. Tell me what happens when you get angry. You know what? None of this sounds like fun. <laughs> None of it sounds like fun. None of it sounds What are we talking about? You know, <laughs> what do you do when you get mad? Hey, man, I think I'm in the wrong place. <laughs> what, 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 what? But it's some people. important questions, though. Yes. Not necessarily. Yeah. Well, I don't necessarily. Don't you want to ask the woman that so she What's don't that? slice your tires? No, I think I think I watch your behavior oh, more than what you say because, because most of the time I ask you questions. Nine times out of ten, you're going to say the right thing. Yeah, crazy on showing stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah. It, it, By you that know. time you already ching ching then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You gotta dis you gotta you gotta disappear. Yeah. You know. Crazy usually shows about at least yeah, three to six months. Three to six months. Three to six months. Mm -hmm. I think a lot earlier than that. You could pick up sign if you just pay attention. But sometimes you're enamored, you know, at yeah, stuff, yeah. but you know, for it to wear off. But I mean, you know, because right, your, your, your friend, neuro, the oxytocin's in your right. brain. I don't even know what oxytocin is. It's the feel good stuff. Now you talking about oxytocin? What are we talking about? Oxytocin. Oh, that too. Right. What, what are we doing? It's the feel good hormone, yeah. so it makes you feel. So you're not gonna be paying attention, yeah. and so yeah. But you know what you need in those situations? What? You need to have a concierge. You need to listen to your friends. Because we all know. I am, we've been friends with my fraternity brother and stuff all the time. We have conversations outside that person. We all, everybody knows around you. You, you just want to listen. You just got to, you got to, you just got to get dragged by this horse until you decide to let go. Mm. I mean, then, everybody knows. And then it's jokes after that. Oh, yeah. We clown. Oh, it's clowning. comical. But I mean, you know, play, every, every, play uh, harder diamond, man. Every, I got uh, jacked up. Everybody <laughs> around you know what the, what that person is, whether it's good for you or not good for you. But like, you know, when you're in that space with that person, you can't beat it because you don't have it. So you can play anything. Just yeah. to be happy. Don't, yeah. You know, I was just letting you know. So like, when you stress, yeah, no, she wouldn't. She wouldn't, be, she wouldn't be. She wouldn't be ugly. Yeah, I mean, if you can't, if I would have said that. I would have been being ugly. Right, it's not coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's she's all this hematobin or whatever she's talking about. What you must tell me? You know, oxytocin? That too. Oxytocin. But, you know. So, okay, so what if, okay, we have this date, and going back to the first date. Yes. And he says he needs you to pick him up. Is that a problem? Like, I, I you know, I, I, my car ain't right right now. You know, you mind driving tonight? Okay, I'm not a woman, but I'm going to answer this. I'd have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm going to get my car on Tuesday, though. You know, that's what the people said. But do you mind driving? The so night? if I saw you with the car, never. Before we never, never. Mm. I don't know. I don't mm. know. I, I'm older. Maybe when I was like I, I'm, I'm 43. So I mm. think some things like when you become older, and I was already wise, but you know, <laughs> shut up. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> some things you just don't like. You just become less important. About, yeah, just become less important. Okay. Okay. But 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 height ain't well. That's important. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't but, know if I would care about that. Cause I mean, if we're in New York, right? Most people in, who don't live have, in New York don't have cars, so that's not. That I don't sense. think that's indicative of a person. Yeah, but we ain't in New York. Okay, he live in Johns Island. <laughs> and you live in. We <laughs> ain't in New York. I'm out here. And you out here. And you out here. <laughs> so you gotta go to Johns Island. Hey baby, yeah, you wanna come? You don't mind coming get me? You know, I'm out here on the island. And I'm going, you'll come with me. Wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. I got a headache. <laughs> she would, this is the blatant disrespect that I, I'm talking about. She would rather talk to a guy with no car than a short guy. <laughs> you know what I'm telling you? Thanks. What, what, what are we doing here? I think it depends on the circumstances. So what circumstances does a short man get? Mm -hmm. Lewis, I am trying to think. <laughs> He's six six with a moped. <laughs> Ten speed. I don't necessarily think about like if we're gonna be real. So if if I, I don't know, Lewis. See see how box them in the corner. And that, you know what I'm <laughs> no leeway, but they got all kind of leeway for 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 for, for the tall guy with no car in John's Island. In John's Island. I did not say that. I'm just saying. Over the bridge. Mm. I mean, I mean, we gave allowances to that guy. We had hard stops for the short guy. Yeah, I'm riding for the short guy. Yeah, I'm riding for I said he can be shorter than me. Huh? You said le a, a maybe an inch. inch. Okay, now I'm 5'7". So, but think about it. I walk around, or most of the time, I'm in four and a half inch well, heels. Well, I want you to make a so sacrifice. Technically, get rid of the heels. Oh, that's no. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that's, mm. no. that's a part of her. Mm. 
No, she bought them. They ain't bought her. <laughs> that's, that's a part of, Damn, they, yeah. But that's a part of who she is. Oh lord, here we go. Right. So I'm I'm showing you uh -huh. me in, so in your heels. Yeah. So you, you're not you, for 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 a good guy. You're not willing. To, you wouldn't sacrifice some heels for 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 a good dude. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I will sacrifice some heels for a baby if I'm pregnant, and the doctor tells me I can't wear heels anymore. That's the only thing I'm taking my heels off for. Mm. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> Man, get no love. No, yes, absolutely. You all get love. Mm. She wouldn't. She wouldn't get rid of the heels for. So that's another thing, man. Like, let me ask you this question, yes. right? What is it worth if you have a a good guy that you're talking about? And let's just say it's something he didn't. Let's just say heel because you're so passionate about your heels. Okay. Let's just say I'm a good guy. All right. I'm, I work all the time. Whatever. Good relationship. I said to now. Your high heels make me uncomfortable. Would you not mm. wear heels? Mm. I work every day, I'm a good family man, whatever else. Mm. Would you get rid of the heels just for on the string of it makes me uncomfortable? Some Crocs. <laughs> uh, She's not wearing Crocs. Yeah, I'm just asking because again, it's it's always interesting. Like if if things that should be very simple, like their workarounds, like their their workarounds. It's, at the end of the day, she likes heels, but at the bigger deal is heels worth. Your relationship. It's more what? important than your relationship. So then you need to ask the guy that, because why would it make him uncomfortable? So let, let, let's not, let's, no, what, let me ask you a question. Why do you have to justify it? We already, we already know. Yeah, no, all I'm asking is, <laughs> this is always when you ask a question, something that I don't like. Because, again, she likes to heal, it's a, so it's a preference, right? right? If I explain, it's a waste of time for me to even explain this to you, because, again, you're not going to agree with it. Right? You're not going to agree with it. It's a wasted conversation. It's not it's, a wasted conversation. It is because, if you can it, help me understand, I, other than you being it, intimidated by the heels, like how is it impacting our relationship? It's, I'm always it's, down it's, to compromise. It's, it's, it's not. It's going to help us what, 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 what I'm telling you is, I'm on the strength of, you know that I'm a good guy. I'm a family man, whatever else. I ride with you. I support you. I'm, a, I'm asking for whatever reason. This is the problem that I end for up whatever with. whatever reason? This, no, but because, again, if you told me you don't like my pair of pants that I'm wearing, right, or a style that way, you know what I do? I take, I ball them up, I throw them in the trash right now. Ain't no problem, baby. What, what, I mean, what, do you, what, no, what style just, do you like? Just about three hours ago, you said you're going to wear your 90s pants. You don't care what anybody but, says. So if, if you think that woman and she wants you to rock the skinny jeans... Well, I mean, skinny jeans, that's because a violation you want to now. see your print. No, no. But wait, but wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Now, because I did not. I didn't. Wait a minute, because that, that's a little different. Now, I told you get rid of heels. You're tell you trying to put me in some. some and you try. Wait a minute. Put on. No, no, no. Put on. Like, they got, all, they got tennis flats? I don't wear tennis mm -hmm. shoes. Okay, so this is part of the question. Okay, no. you wear mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Toe shoes. But why would that come out later on in the relationship? Isn't that something that would you would have discussed in earlier on that no, this makes you the way the way relationships normally work, right? <laughs> but okay, no, 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 no. I'm just saying okay. how it works. Like you don't come out and unfold everything that you want on day one, right? But that's this, a problem, this, though. No, right? and that's no, it would be if it's a deal breaker. But that's not what the point that I'm trying to get at. I'm not trying to say mm -hmm. that this is a deal breaker or I'm going because a lot of times I ask you. It's a matter of like respect in my. In my opinion, because I'm just saying that I'm not going to break up. If you said no, I'm not going to get rid of my he my heels. I'm not saying that it's to the level where me and you, there's no more me and you. Okay, some guys it may be. I'm just I'm I would just, compromise. I would first see if there's a compromise. So okay, it makes me it, it makes me. I, uncomfortable. I won't wear the heels on. I won't wear them in the bed. Whatever. I mean, I don't know. I would just <laughs> figure out what the. Right. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Boy, I'm just kidding. <laughs> like, I don't. I don't wear shoes enough. So I'm just saying. It just, I would see what I really would want to understand what the issue is and is there a compromise, especially if you met me, which I'm pretty sure you did, in these heels. Mm -hmm. But 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 the dynamics. What I'm saying is a lot of times women. A man does not necessarily want you the same way that he met you, right? Because again, you wear is I think women wear certain things to attract men and get attention, right? You, you know what I mean? In general, you look good X, Y, and Z, and you might be wearing something. They're like, okay, yeah, you you got my attention. Okay, now me and you are talking, and now we're together. We're a thing now. I don't necessarily want you to wear the same things that you were wearing to attract me. That's why I think it's a false a false thing because again, okay. If you're a mother, is there a different? If you become a mother, do you think you wear the same thing as a mother as a 
when you were single? Do you evolve is what I'm saying. So well, if, absolutely. Okay. There is some evolution there, but I don't know. So, so what I'm saying is if there is evolution, you don't do the same thing. Because, again, in a man's mind, whatever you were, like, if you wore, like, yoga pants. And, you know, I'm just throwing the yoga pants out. If you wear yoga pants and that attracted whatever and get a certain amount of attention, or me and you together, mm -hmm. I, don't want you, I don't want you to get attention from another man. Okay? So... Can't control that. I was about to say, okay, but, but I'm, it's not about what I'm saying is you can't control that, but you can control some of it. <laughs> but so you, you so, can control. You so control what I'm trying to understand is, okay, you met me out and I had my yoga pants on or whatever. So you telling me that I can't wear yoga pants anymore because of? I'm I not, mean, that's not an evolution that I'm thinking about. Like well, definitely, I won't wear. That's red flags. No, I guess. <laughs> I guess. I'm, no, I just. I, I'm just I, I, I do. I do yoga pants out as a as a as an example is what I'm saying. <laughs> so we don't wear yoga mind, pants and stuff, so, right? But because I guess in my mind, like I'm a mother now, mm -hmm. like so it's. I mean, of course, and not even just that. Just the caliber of woman that I am. Like there's. I ha I make choices about what I wear out, so I know I'm not gonna be out with everything hanging out right, or whatever. Yeah. So there's not gonna be much of a change in my. But let me ask you a question: Does everything that you wear get the same? You guys are women. Everything that you wear, do you get the same attention? So if you wear jeans and a t-shirt, and again, not that you don't get attention. I'm saying the same level. Is there a, not that if there's an outfit that you can wear? That you'll get ten times more attention than you would if you just wear like you know I don't know jeans and, and a t-shirt. Just but like, that's just like in general. Like okay, if I just go somewhere in some leggings and a, a big T or something. But of course, if I'm going out, like of course my dress is going to be different, but it's not going to be anything provocative to require. But it's not I'm, that may attract someone, you know? Like yeah, but we're not. Listen, I'm I, what, I'm not saying that, and I, I think. It's it's a general idea, not trying to go to like, hey, well, if I wear this and try to go down the rabbit hole of that individualized. Okay. I'm saying in general, if you, I'm saying that we know that you know we've seen women that if you wear certain things, you will get more attention in this outfit than this outfit. Right. We can we agree with that? I, oh, I mean, yeah. you can get more if, if you wear yoga pants with your shirt tucked in. You get more attention that way than yoga pants with your shirt out. Covering down, down to your knees. There's gonna be a different attention level there. I'm just saying, yoga pants with your with you with your shirt tucked in, y'all. That got my attention, right? And and all these guys, I know, I I've seen all these guys looking at you or whatever else. Okay, I talk, I shot my shot. You gave me some rhythm. You were feeling it. Now we're item now. Me and you together now, right? So now I'm saying, okay, Tanel, I don't want you to wear yoga pants with your shirt tucked in. I mean. I mean, I mean and, and you're like, you're like, well, no. And, and, and I think this is the level what I'm saying is if I'm a good dude, what I'm saying is in a relationship, in, in a relationship, <laughs> you always give, comp when we talk about compromise, I'm mm -hmm. saying on the strength of it, if you ask me to, to not to do something, and again, especially when it ain't no big deal, we talk about clothes, I mean, what are we talking about? So, so homeboy, you saying she got to change? You said change what? She got to change the leg and she can't, right, she can't right. wear them no more? No, I'm, no. I'm just using. I'm just using that as an example. Is okay. what I'm not. I mean, I don't want to get hung up on the particular right. piece of clothes. I'm just talking about the idea. Uh, that, that's, that's why. That's why I use shoes. I use shoes before. Asking somebody and, to stop doing something that they that, were doing. Because you yeah. Right. So what level? What do I have to do where I can foster that as a man? Your man foster that level of respect that you do just on the strength of me asking. Don't have to negotiate and me explain to you X, Y, and Z is what I'm saying. Because it, it seems like everything is always a debate, and that you gotta you gotta quantify. How about, hey, I'm your dude, I rock with you, I'm here every night with you, and I'm in this fight with you, and I asked you to do a thing, and I respect, cool, it's not like, cool, no, nah, I'm with you. I'm, so if I'm, you, you know, ask me, then you mean, that means I can say no, and you have to be okay with no, it. No, you can't be okay, that's not the, well, what I'm saying, I'm, I'm talking about, I can't, <laughs> nobody can make anybody do anything, Y'all, women got free will, so nobody, let, let's take sure. that part of it out, nobody can make you do anything, I'm just saying, the fact that I asked you what level of respect you have to do just to do it on the strength. That mm -hmm. you don't look at it like you look at it as a challenge, and you're telling me something, and not looking at it like this is my dude. I rock with him, 
So I, what I'm going to do is it ain't this. This ain't no big deal. I can change it up and still look fly in X, Y, and Z and do it in a different way and make him feel comfortable because he's my dude and he's X, Y, and Z. It don't matter. We don't have to go into X because it doesn't matter. You're not going to. You're not going to agree with it. You're not going to think. I mean, you're not right. So what? What are we having a conversation about? Because you're not going to agree with me, but it makes me uncomfortable. And on the strength of that, you're telling me like, get over it. <laughs> I'm, and, and, you know, and I'm like, I'm gonna wow, say, okay. Let's discuss. I, so I you mean, want psycho? You gonna doctor film me? No, I got, I got. I'm gonna doctor film you. But mm. I think though, Jen, Jen you gonna doctor film me? I do. I would need to know something deeper. Because mm. yeah, that's. I mean, there's been an instance where I've been in a situation of courting someone, and they made you know, like I, I would wear nails these are my nails i just have an overlay but they made mention of my nails and how they like natural nails and i'm just looking at them like okay you can like natural nails but i'm Screw gonna wear you. my <laughs> 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 yeah. i mean yeah. pretty much like you know not screw you but like this is me like this is like, so you want me to just switch up who I am because of... Oh, so you're just going to be cute in these streets with your nails, huh? That's what you're going to do? Yes. That's like me <laughs> dating someone who smokes marijuana, and at some point I tell him, it makes me uncomfortable, I need you to stop smoking Right, marijuana. because you met That is them. that same equivalent. I met him doing that. Right. And, and I'm going to... And I tell people, like, I talk about my shoes because I do know that people, like... Some people still don't even know... Like, get that I can walk in them all day long. Like, I get asked that question still to this day. So, I say, I don't like tennis shoes. I don't walk well in tennis shoes. I'm very pigeon-toed when I have on tennis shoes. So, I like to wear heels because it kind of straightens my gait a little bit. So, that's, for me, yes. my comfort level. Mm -hmm. I'm not comfortable walking in tennis shoes. I'd work out. So, you mentioned yoga outfits. I wear two-piece to go work out. So, now you're telling me, say, if, if I start with one thing, next thing you're going to say, well, you can't wear that to the gym. I'm not about to wear sweats and baggy clothes to the gym. I, that's not how I like to work out. So I'm going to have my my top and my, you know, yoga pants, like you guys, and work out. And then I'm going to go to Publix and buy me a salmon and some salad and go home and eat it. And so at what point, I believe when you start making those sacrifices, it, the list goes on and on and on. But you knew me. That's why I think having, when you meet somebody in those first three initial dates, you do need to discuss some of these things because most people don't because they are just trying to get that person and then all of a sudden, boom, well, you know what? I don't like nails. Well, I've had these every single day. I don't wear them. But, yeah. Okay, so you, you think that <laughs> by uh, somebody asking you in a relationship with you that is good, you're, you're thinking that that is somehow unhealthy. Oh. That 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 is that is somehow unhealthy, yeah. Um, if it's something that that I value and that's important to me, and it's in no way impacting our relationship in a negative way, and you ask me to give give it up because you are insecure, I have a problem with that. Yes. Mm -hmm. But it is affecting our relationship if it if it it makes me insecure. Then I would say, let's go sit down and talk to somebody about that insecurity. Because mm. if it starts there, it's going to mm. get bigger. So you're going to try to find somebody to side with you so you can no. do what you want to do. No. Get you on the couch. I want, yeah. to see, I want to see where the insecurity has gone, especially if you really love me and I've been nothing but loyal. Why would a shoe make that any different? Just because it just does. And but, I'm saying but, that's but, just the problem. But, but, but on the strength, I'm not, I'm not valued enough to... To, to, to make that change, I guess. I guess I'm not valued enough that you would want me to make that change, I guess. So then you go into that chicken and the egg um, right, thing. Right, you know, so See, that's a muddy the water so I can still do what I want to do. No. Uh, you meant, on you. no, I think relationships need to be more about compromise and bringing in. So I, when I talk to people, I'm like, the more you say, if, if Kent says, you know what, I'm going to stop eating this and and. Just to kind of, I tell people, add first before you subtract. Add to my life before you try to take away from. Mm -hmm. That's all I'm saying. I'm hoping you're still with me, so I'm adding. So, <laughs> I, think I've been, I, I hope I've been adding the whole time. And um, for the record, y'all not really good at this. But, I mean, <laughs> I, mean I didn't want to say that. I, <laughs> I, 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 
that's a, yeah, honey. Okay. Ben, ben that's, ben but that's how I've been. But that's we'll a, take that one too. That's a big yeah. joke. That's a big joke. That's a spade. Just that's a case, spade. Joke and joke. That's what I thought about. You're right. Joke and joke. Deuce a spade. Those are the top. Yeah, the wild card. The wild card. That's what I thought about. I said, "Don't That's all right. That's all right. But when you reneged for the last two games, yeah, but I have. But but if you do renege, don't tell nobody. Just keep it a secret. Yeah, no, no, no. This is the one time you don't have to be accountable. You want to try to try to make it seem like you did. No, I know in the regular world I should not. I should try to, just, you know, let it yeah. pass. Yeah, just let it pass and just don't. Right. Say He's it, asking you to give up your integrity. <laughs> yeah, it's spades. Because you love him. Yeah. No, no don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, 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 because it's spades. You're allowed to. That's part. That's written into the rules. It's okay. <laughs> Done it many times. Everybody, everybody's you know heard of him or knows him. Kevin Samuels. I know Kevin Samuels. Correct. Is that the, the the guy who harasses uh, women? He's a podcast. He's a he's a famous podcast. Talks about relationships and and lots talks all about women. Oh, he okay. he says okay. that if um, when a man asks you on a date, he's actually asking you for sex. Hmm. So if you do not think this is a person you want to have sex with, do not go on the date. Hmm. Is that what do y'all think about? Go first, Jen. <laughs> I always feel like I always have something to say that's probably contrary to what they want me to say. Because I mean, no, we, it, want, it, we want you but, to say what you want to say. But know? indirectly, he's I mean, he's going a little bit far into it. I, but he is interested. But if a man interested, he's interested in you. So, I mean, but he's saying he's. What do you think about that? So, so do you try them out? Like, do you ever go on a date? If you go on a date, you trying them out? Like, you know, like a internship, like, or is it someone you're interested in? You find them attractive. That maybe, hey, that may be something down the line. Not to date, but something down the line. You see you possibly doing that. That's what Kevin Sanders is saying. Say. What deep thought over there? I don't know. I guess I'm just like in such a space of like intentional dating uh -huh. and okay. I don't necessarily personally, I don't want that to be the first. I mean, I guess, I don't know. I mean, I know men are attracted to you. They probably have thought about that, but I don't want that to be the, I guess, sole topic of or the sole thing of why you're. No, I, I, I don't think it's, it's more or less that's the main thing, you know, main thing about right. I guess it's. I guess it's kind of like thinking as if that's something you could do. You find someone that you find, you know, I mean, hopefully, you know. You I know. mean, if I'm going out with you, then. You I, find kind of, you're generally right. attracted. Okay. Right. I'm attracted to you. I mean, because of what? Why? I mean, oh, for free oh, there's some free meals out here. Free meals, yeah. Oh, yeah. A drink, you know what I mean? You know good and well like you're not in, interested in that guy and you just juicing him to... to but I thought we... So I, I, I thought this conversation was about more older, mature women dating because I do believe those things happen. But when you get older, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I, I don't yeah. know. You don't, I don't, you don't, you don't have the time until so you're in a different... Yeah, place, I'm yeah. 40. I'm going to say, listen, this is yeah. what... I, first of all... I don't have any kids. I want a kid. If you don't want a kid, we don't even go on a date. Right. Mm -hmm. There's no need to just go be casual. Right. Mm -hmm. So that's right. some things I'm going to just put up front. Mm -hmm. Don't even about asking me to owe Charlie's or Oscars or whatever. <laughs> 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 Somewhere on Oscars? No. That's Oscars. Is that a real place? Yeah, yeah. Oscars in um, some of them. Oh, no, no, no. no, no, no. Yeah. I've never yeah. been to Oscars. Yeah, Oscars. It's nice. Just, yeah. If it's still open, I don't know if they survive. No, they're still open. It's open. Yeah, yeah. lamb shank. Oh, yeah. that be. Oh, I'm sorry. It's good, ain't it? Listen. Why are you telling me you should put food? I'm trying to. Oh, you trying to help me out? Yeah. <laughs> Amy, help us sister out, because, you know, I'm on the struggle bus over here. Not me. I'd stomp you when you're down. Well, yeah, I'm with it. I mean. <laughs> Go back to the the worst date you ever had. What made it the worst date? Oh, worst date? Hmm. Man, you couldn't already. Mm-hmm. That's right. Mm, didn't know that, did you? I know. That's why I'm going back there. Play that <clears throat> why are you all looking my stuff? Because you showing it. Because you showing it. Mm -hmm. I saw it too. I'm going to look. If you're going to show me, I'm going to look. That's all right. No diamonds? You got no diamonds? Then play yeah, spin. No, no, no. Because I'm going to do the right thing this time. Mm -hmm. That's all right. We know because we looking. Yeah, What's your worst thing? 
What I haven't even doing? been on a. I don't even know. That's what I'm just saying. You like, never been on a bad date? No, I'm saying I don't. It's been a, like I'm trying to think. What have I dated? I don't recall a. I don't put all of this. Necessarily a bad thing. Uh, no. Um, or just speak in general. What makes a what makes a date bad? No. Come on, this should be rolling like, off the tip no, of your tongue. Like this should be. Yeah, easy. like just no connection. I mm. guess like you just sitting there and we just like twiddling and thumbs and no conversation. No conversation. When song. you start to tell me you don't like my shoes or what I have on, that's gonna make the thing. Yeah. Bad. When you already start like critiquing. When Kirk, me, why you put your hair like that? Or right. Even when it goes does right. that actually happen? That has happened. Yeah. No, I don't say no. Well, yeah, what would make a bad date? I'm just telling him that would make yeah, a bad but I, date. I, yeah, yeah but, but I think I think it's more. I don't think that would happen if a guy is interested. He's not going to tell you start critiquing. No, or you should. So okay, I t- I went on a I mean, date. I, it was I was in a relationship. We we broke up, and so maybe like a couple months after mm-hmm. that, I met this guy, and we went to a concert. And the whole time, I was like, I was like. I probably was the bad date person because one, I was irritated because it, it was a Jill Scott concert and everybody was like holding up their phones and I was really trying to watch Jill Scott close, through with okay. my own no. eyes and so and I think he wanted me to be close but I was kind of standoffish yeah, because I didn't want to give any mixed messages about right. sex at the end of the date so I mean was, he should have just read your body language it was horrible and I offered to pay my ticket. Like at the end when he was like, I felt like you didn't enjoy yourself. I offered him money to, to compensate him for paying for the ticket, and mm-hmm. that offended him even more. So that's probably like the worst date I guess I had. Did you go back out with him again after that? Oh, we no, were we that. were that's cool, what... but I knew I wasn't gonna date. Like I wasn't because he smoked marijuana. Like I just I can't be with somebody who smokes. That's your worst marijuana is just the worst smell. Uh, I don't know. You ever, on, you ever been on a date where a guy was in his phone the whole time or um, mm-hmm. couldn't read the menu? Mm-mm. You know, I mean, I'm just saying, like, couldn't read the menu, like, um, what's this, uh, uh, you know, Joker, Joker, Deuce of Spade, Ace, King, Queen, Jack, yeah, you nine, got, ten, yeah, eight, that's spades. how it goes. So you got wild cards just higher than that. Uh-uh. Black is bigger. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Come got on, you, man. Man. Man, listen, big, man. Man. Red, 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 Mm. I was a, I was using what you said. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. it was just saying if you pay attention or not. Yeah. But I don't yeah. 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 like one that's raised in my mind. Like that was mm-hmm. terrible. Mm. I mean, you okay? I speak for myself. Like if um, if someone is like, just quiet or <laughs> not talkative, lacks personality. You know, just not really talkative. You know, hey, so you know, you ask them, you know, you're just speaking general conversation, but they're, you know, more, yeah. Uh-huh. I mean, I've never had I'm that. Say, but I don't I think I've ever I'm been on a date. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well. yeah. Now, I've communicated with someone on the phone, and like were, initially, and, and so dry. it doesn't yeah. escalate. usually escalate to a date. Okay. Mm-hmm. Because if you dry on the phone, then. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, what, what are we going to do when we go out, you know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so. Well, hmm. Yeah, that's unbelievable. Most of the time, people got bad dates, kind of seared into their memory. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, there's yeah. nothing seared. Yeah, no way. Mm-hmm. Well, that's good. I mean, my intuition, yeah. I could tell before. You know, so I'm, now you're a psychic guy. No, no psychic it's not just, intuition. No, no you, just, was, was, you can <laughs> you can typically pick up on. Um, what, what, whether the guy gonna be a dumpster fire or not? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's like you said. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. you. I know. Any, many, money more. Catch a tiger. Yeah. In the future, mm-hmm. it might yeah, help one. if you align all your. Usually, I do. Okay. Mm-hmm. It just makes y'all just throw a card. It's all right. Boy. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, man. We just doing. The- for the yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. I tell you, I got this band that's sweat here because this is stressing me out. This stress you? Don't let it stress you out. This guy here, you know, he don't play that well. Listen, but, um, <laughs> this nigga, he ain't my best friend anymore. <laughs> right? Hey, hey, okay. hey, no, no offense. <laughs> just go ahead, mom. Okay, go ahead. Do Wait, something. Maybe not like that. Okay, but, um, no, that's all right. That's all right. That's all right. <laughs> See? <laughs> no, sure. Yeah.
Yeah, still a plane, you there? Okay. Boss way. Yeah. On you again, though. Huh? <laughs> you getting the pressure to again. Pressure. <laughs> okay, so what was the question? What were we talking about? Oh, well, we were just talking about that, but um, moving up, like, in another question, have you ever, like, had a stalker? Yes. I'm talking about, like, just keeping it, like, personal, like Kanye. Kanye is on some real celebrity stalk stuff right now. So, relationship-wise, like, yes. Not just, not dating, like, why, well, yeah, not dating, why, but in a relationship, yes. In a relationship, he was stalking. Well, backtrack. Mm-hmm. After I ended that relationship, yes, but not a dating stalker. Okay, yeah. okay. And how was he doing it? Multiple phone calls, showing up where you Popping were? Popping up. Okay. Back in truck up by my car, so I had no choice but to engage. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Dang. Yeah. So how did it end? Um, I think just that persistent uh, non-engagement type situation. It wasn't nothing... Got a, for me personally, it felt a little obsessive, but mm-hmm. you know, eventually it kind of faded off. Mm-hmm. Yeah, thankfully. Never put the law or nothing like that involved. I talked to the law, but Dang. thankfully I didn't have to do anything. Yeah. Anything. Anybody else talked to you? Yeah. Not okay. To my knowledge. Knowledge. Not to your knowledge. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> 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 yeah. direct message. Like I have to like. <sighs> Sometimes random, like these people on direct message you on Facebook. Yeah, she got the tie out. Oh, it's your turn. Now. It's still me. Okay. Oh. You got the power hand. Yes, you do. Yeah, you she do. Go on now. Give you a lot. Mm. Oh man. Go get one. Well, okay. you know, I was trying. That's That's all right. right. You good? But yeah. Mm. So no for you, not that you. you know, mm-hmm. Okay, okay now. Nah, so, but what do you think about? Now. So what do you think about Kanye West and I his continue <laughs> and his continued pursuit of um how bad Probably of Kim Kardashian? Well, we, we had a good comeback. Mm-hmm. We Six, still be seven, jealous. Seven, we got seven, seven. But it's okay. It's yeah, all right. It's okay, yeah. I felt better because we had a comeback. But I'm glad you felt better. But y'all still stuck. You one of those kids who like they were first place when they really didn't win first place. But I like. You know I like what that. Y'all <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, we can't. Yeah, we can't. Yeah, I'm going to celebrate. Listen, that's the problem with this, this churn today. Yeah, you, you I'm going to celebrate. No, no, I did not, but I'm going to celebrate my small <laughs> win, okay? Uh, uh, we're going to let you have your moment. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to celebrate my small win. Yeah. Isn't that what we learned? Yeah, that is what we learned. We gonna, we gonna... In life, yes, but when it comes to competition. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, you are a winner, but your partner? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all gonna start ragging on my partner now. Well, I mean, you know, we in this together. <laughs> my man, so much of man. That's all right. Hey. Put some heels on it. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you dirty rat. <laughs> <laughs> all right, but uh, back to what I was talking about. Okay. Like in, within the Kanye West situation, you ever went back to a dude nope. that was like. <laughs> You know, you was done, he did something crazy, and you went back to him. Like Tanya West trying to get get Kim back. No, no. You ever went back to him? Did you ever look like you over there, like you went back one time or two? <laughs> you just like, that look. Like, like, okay, yeah, all right. We'll do it and we'll try. I have. Okay. I have. Successful? No, absolutely. Oh, I, if it was successful, oh, mm-hmm. then I would not have shared that I'm still doing. Because <laughs> no. like that's what would have been. We would have worked it out and you know continued forward. But no, not, not at all successful. <sighs> not at all successful. And what about chivalry? Mm-hmm. Want to man a bit, man? So she wants to open the door and pull your chair out. Things like that. Is that expected? It's not expected. I would say, yeah, it's not an expectation, but I mean, chivalry is always nice, you okay. know. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, what about female chivalry? That's a thing. What? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that was. I, mean, I never heard of one. So that was going to be my question. Well, in regards to female chivalry, like cooking be, and or, like your plate. Oh, you mean your responsibility? Fixing your plate. plate <laughs> fi- a plate fixer. Oh yeah, absolutely. Plate fixer. Your plate fixer. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. At old school. At the, at the like yeah. at the, 
at the cookout, you gonna get your man flaked. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. Right. Yeah. You 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 gonna act bad in front of your your, your relatives? No. Act, act big and bad like I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't be fixing them. No, because that's just in my. I guess that's just in my nature. So mm-hmm. you know, yeah. like that's absolutely. Okay. Babe, what do you want, or mm-hmm. what would you like? Mm-hmm. Okay. That's good. That's that's so yeah. positive. Because well, sometimes, you know, people can interpret that as weakness. <laughs> as weakness for the woman? Yeah, a woman can them perceive that as weakness. I think, though, yeah. again, it's, I, I, don't, I think that's part of the problem with relationships. Right. The more you care about what other people think, I think that's problematic, too, but... Yeah, but I mean, they always do. They, they they always make the argument about social media like they they have no will of their own. Like, and I don't post because, any of my relationships on social media. Yeah, no, so no, I, I don't either. No, I'm yeah, just talking no, about in I general conversations do. when things go south. What they talk about is because social media made me do it, or pressure, societal pressures. And if that's the case, it, I mean, you have your own free will. I don't understand yeah. how anything influenced you. You decide what you want to do, it's but so but you're always it's here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, you always hear those 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 uh, mm. points of discussions yeah. that uh, you know society made me do it, which, which is terrible. Yeah. No. Okay. Question. What about y'all? Have y'all had stalkers? Oh yeah. Don't anybody stalking me? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I ain't I never had no stalker. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, long, somebody you- stalked you. If you consider, you know, like multiple texting, multiple phone calls. You mean after an argument or something like that? That don't count, though. No, or like, if, like if you break, you break up with someone, mm-hmm. and they still you don't call that. No, you, come on, dog. You reach it. That's uh, terrible. Uh, I mean, that's terrible. That's it. That's awful. <laughs> yeah. That's awful. That's awful. Uh, yeah. That's so silly. <laughs> I mean, come on, man. Yeah. After a break up, they, they want to get back to you to call you a few times. I'm talking like thirty two. Mm. 32 is successful. That's, that's, that's um, block worthy. Yeah. yeah I mean, well, 32 in what time period? Because, I mean, that's legal in a, a couple days. Day. And that's all you got 32 in there. What about the next day? They stopped the next day. Keep calling to you. No, did you, it wasn't did you, did you, did you oh, no, it was, say, it was more please or less, stop calling me? It was more or less That's light. true. You have to make it known. What? Me not, if you call me thirty two times, we all intelligent. If I if you call me thirty two <laughs> times and I ain't answer the phone, it's over. No, we ain't got to tell you that. We be hurt. Oh, it's me. Because in their mind, they are, are, like, we, are we reaching in? Or, or, or you, well, I can be hurt. Well, because in their mind, they think you know. If we have a phone call. If you, if we talk, I, 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 I can change. Yeah. 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 yeah no. Maybe they couple couples count. Couples count. Couples count. Mm. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. Yeah. Pack it up. Pack it in. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> Interracial dating. Yeah. Any experience in interracial dating? Mm-mm. Uh, yeah, I've dated a Puerto Rican. Don't count. Julio. It doesn't count. No, it does not. He's a different ethnicity. Was there any challenges to it? No, that's why it don't count. So, <laughs> <laughs> like y'all watching Def Comedy Jam and he laughed at the wrong joke. Mm. 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 Yeah, I was gonna rack it for you, man, but that's alright. It's ahead. all good. It's all good. Okay. Oh, that's that right. is good. She's talking it out. <laughs> talking it out. Go ahead, girl. Talk it out. Alright, you did the right thing. Right, see, I had you to right you know, Yeah, you had to I'm here with you. Man. That's right. But no, I've never. Never dated. Mm-mm. racially. Am I opposed to it? No. No. Well, I mean, because the big thing now, I've been to probably three or four, and usually it's been black women that have, um, you know, dated the white guy. Mm-hmm. Friends that I've known that got married. Mm-hmm. And, but mostly it's been a lot more, you know, they, you know, just opening up the dating pool. Yeah. Hmm. You see a lot more down here now. Mm-hmm. More and more. But a lot of more people are moving down in the area. You know, a lot of people are. Yeah, that's true. You know, it's not the same people that kind of mm-hmm. grew up with type deal. How many games did y'all want? I was just under the not not a friend. lot. Um, <laughs> we're, we're, just, <laughs> we're just enjoying. <laughs> you a savage. <laughs> I miss you, Danelle. <laughs> Get him. <'em. laughs> 
enjoying, you know, the time and the conversation. It's not about the wins for me. That's right. I'm not mad at you. Uh, that's why you won't be on my team ever. How would and you, that's how, perfectly how, fine. How, 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 how about you, Quad? You, you, you enjoying the, the conversation? I'm enjoying the conversation. Uh -huh. What, cards. What, what about this kicking that we giving y'all? Hey, the, it's a uh, uh, the stomping. You know, uh, my point is you. getting better by the by the play. Oh no, a lot of saying on she her. It's on you. She's she's getting better by the play. No, it's she's not her. She's, she's, been, she's, been, she's been doing very well. It's you. I've been watching your play. Please. So we started off with the hearts, right? Mm -hmm. Well, well with that, yes. Okay. I mean, yeah. we spent 40 minutes about you wearing, the girls wearing heels with your, with your ass. So, I mean, damn, I forgot what the hell was going on. He did, but that was all. Then he's like, That's okay. Like, oh, dang, it's me. I don't like being the first one. That's all right. That's all right. Two, four, y'all up? Don't two, four, no, no. Yeah. Take that back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, y'all. Yeah. Oh, my partner over there was a savage. You can't be in this. I know I can't. Oh. So just let me figure out which one of these <laughs> cards I want to throw out, please. Just tell it. <laughs> Don't hurt them, Janelle. Look, got my feet sweating. Ooh. Ooh. Don't hurt them. Mm. Mm, you ain't got one. You ain't got one high enough there, buddy. There you go. Is it bad? Yeah, I'm done. Mm. Mm. We got six. Bless you. Keep them thinking. Seven again. Damn. Mm. I don't know. Mm. Mm. Any, any other questions? I doubt that. Yeah. I doubt that. Alright, who wants, um, I'll let you pick. Who wants multiple choice or either or? Mm. Either or. You want either or and you want, well, I guess you got multiple choice. You got a damn thing. <laughs> well, you guys have chose multiple choice. choice. Mm. All right, you know. still objective questions. Absolutely. Go ahead. Absolutely. Oh, man. <laughs> I, maybe I'm going to set myself up. <laughs> 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 uh, I don't like either or because I, as you guys know, I love to be able to find the gray in something. I am not yeah, a black or Yeah, you way gray. Yeah. yeah, I, I and that's argue okay. any side. No, you know, there's a lot wrong with it. I mean, you can't be in charge. No, no, I no. can't. No, I can gray can't be in charge. Gray, gray, gray can't yes, be in charge. Can. No, people need clear directions. As I can long give as you clear directions. Yeah, but my point is, I can make you understand this choice, and I can make no. you understand no. this choice. And I can yeah, and at the end of the day, we all confused. No, you're not. No, it's just about perspective. Oh, Lord have mercy. I can give you. No. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you give me a bunch of words with no. and then at the end I'll be like, so what you just now said? What what, what, what that mean? No. <laughs> oh, partner. This is, what's the multiple choice? Hush, uh, Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> Either or you just so boxed in. Oh, no, boxed in. Uh, go ahead. I mean, I have to play a little. Yeah. Multiple choice, okay? Mm -hmm. Um, uh, first one, multiple choice. Are you, um... No. Yes. Whatever. Yes. A turn on. Is it more, would you say, cologne, a voice, a voice, or if he's hard working? Which one would you say is more of a turn on for you? Mm. How did you decide those three options? Hey, I think, hey, hey, what are you... They're not even the same category. And not at all. But, mm -hmm. what would you say? Which one is more? See, you go in there and try to reconstruct the game. <laughs> you understand? You, 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 you understand why you can't be in charge? <laughs> the rules are the rules. <laughs> Stick to them. Go ahead and answer that one, uh, Jeff. No, it's for know. you. Oh, it's, what's, it, which cologne. one is more turn on? Nice cologne, sexy voice. Or he's a hard-working brother. Hard-working brother. Hard-working brother. Yeah. Hard brother. yeah. Okay. Hey, for the record, y'all gonna get killed this hand. But like, but that he likes, Thanks. but he loves his job, or at least I don't. Uh -huh. Yeah, I don't want to be hard working and stressed. Like that's not cool. right, okay. Right. Okay. He's, right. he's he's passionate about it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Would you rather Netflix and chill, going out, or picnic in a park? Mm. I can know what the answer. This one is. This is on me. Or did did show? It's you. Oh, it's still me. Yeah, you get multiple choice. You pick either or. It depends on the season. If it's winter. Netflix, <laughs> chill. Mm -hmm. If it's summer, we going to the park. And what was the third you, one? You killing oh, me, party. Oh, then you say, yeah. You, you killing me, party. What was the third one? <laughs> Go picnic in a bar. Beach. Well, well, the weather's perfect in every day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, man. That's right. Wait, day of the week. Day of the week. I'm on high. Mm, give me that one. 
Yeah. Clay, you ain't got what nothing. What was the third one? Picnic in the park. And Netflix and chilling. What That's was the other right. one? Um, going out. Uh, Help. So you both. Oh, okay. These questions. Hard. What are you, you're <laughs> natural thinkers. You know natural thinkers. You're being difficult. Okay, I would rather because I don't gonna do a picnic in the park. So I would Netflix and chill. Netflix and Netflix chill. Netflix okay. Alright. Pay attention to this question. Okay. Is this Jen question? This is for you. Okay. You got multiple choice. This is your multiple choice. Who's responsible for getting the warm rag after sex? Is it who's <laughs> is it is it is it whose house you have? Who did the least amount of work during the sex? Or who's closer to the bathroom? I like getting the warm rag because I like using it and helping, you know, wiping it off. And Facts. <laughs> so you don't mind? Okay, okay. Now, for, for your information, the temperature of the warm rag is kind of like <laughs> not putting the seat up on the, on the commode. Like that? Well, you know, like you, you, know, you know, you know, like you don't like the, a man to leave the seat up on the commode. So who didn't play? Yeah, you you bring a man of cold oh, rag. Oh no! Yeah, no, no, no. Oh, did I so play I, I played the king. So did, did I you play? play? Count your cards. I don't know, man. Four, Count your cards. I know I didn't eight, play. Four. You just played. You would have just, one, two, maybe it's three, ten, four, five, six. If a guy pulls out during intimacy, would you rather him pull out stomach. on your stomach, back, and or back. sheets? Stomach or back? Not Stomach or back? I'll answer that question myself. I prefer to back myself, pulling out on the back because hey, you don't you don't want to leave too many kids at the playground, you know, just oh, in case. Gosh. You, don't want, you don't want to have that accidentally with kids at the playground. Just throwing that out. All right, would you rather have sex in a shower, car, or in the bed? D. All of the above. Mm. All of the above. I thought we were friends, Jen. Yeah, that was ugly. You yeah, didn't do it like that. Yeah, that's terrible. All right, how about... I'm going to have to remember that. It's on you. Doggy oh. style, on top, or missionary? All of the above. You got to pick one now. You in that gray. Yeah. <laughs> um, what'd you say? Doggy style, on top, or missionary? Hmm. Mm. I won't let you get that one. Mm -hmm. mm. Dirty game. Um. Mm. Mm. I'm done. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. I'll go. With, I guess I'll go with missionary because maybe uh, I'm trying to make a baby. So missionary. Oh, it's me. <laughs> so for research, uh, missionary works better than having a baby. Yeah, it's one of the best ways. Mm. Okay. I mean, did, I did not know this, that. I don't know. It's a myth. It could be. A myth. Okay. <laughs> don't mind me at home, folks. He <laughs> said, "Don't mind me at home." Man, but mind this Joker right here. Mind that. Mm. All right, let's go. This is choices. Mm. This is your choice. You ain't got nothing, Jen. Go ahead. You can either be mm. <laughs> either or. No, it's, it's your multiple choice. Mm. You can either be slapped by Will Smith, <laughs> st stalked by Kanye, or uh, you got to marry Tristan Thompson. Basketball player that used to um, be involved with. Uh, he has all the babies Chloe, on Khloe Kardashian. Khloe Kardashian. Yeah. Oh. Um, I, I'll be smacked by Will Smith. Damn. Damn. Okay. That was strong. Okay. That was strong. Smack but you know right. what? That might be the best out of their choices. That might be the best out of their choices. Yeah. It has the least consequence. <laughs> After the slapping. You can't beat it. Yeah. You can. <laughs> all right. You got, you got to sleep with one of them. <laughs> you got to sleep with one of them. Would you sleep with Flavor Flav, oh, Lord. Forrest Whitaker, or Seal with no money? This is horrible. <laughs> that's the point. Hey, that's the idea. It really is, you know. You can just take one. Seal with no money, Forrest Whitaker, or um, uh, Flavor Flav. What's wrong with Forrest Whitaker? <laughs> I mean, so He's older, so he probably has worms. So oh. I'm gonna go you ain't that work, bitch. Oh, Lord. I'm going to go with uh, <laughs> Seal with no money. Seal with no money. We're working at, work at, work at Speedway and Rivers. Yeah, he had a decent body. Okay, okay. Seal? <laughs> Thank you, Kids from a rose. That's all Kids? Right. Oh, I like that song. Ah. It's on you, buddy. All right. 
When you, all right, last question. Oh, y'all got three. Yeah, nice job. Don't say all like that. Nice job. Guys. All right, your, your last question My is last when. Last one. All right. I don't know if I, I don't when you um <laughs> when you when you fake an orgasm, <laughs> is it because you pee, have to pee? You want them to finish, or or the or the dick just trash? I don't think I've ever faked. Never faked an orgasm. I don't know. What do I mean? You always get one, or you just? No, you just, I don't get one. I don't get one. Uh, just, it's just yeah, okay. Yeah. You ever fake one? You never yeah. fake one. Mm-mm. No. You just roll Tell on like. Don't fake it. Oh, what you say? I didn't ask the question. <laughs> just call him Geraldo Rivera. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Either or, Miss Jennifer. Oh, I'm done. Those questions. I'm telling you. Would you rather have? Could we start? Would you rather have a call or a text? A call. You rather have a call. Flowers. Aww. Oh, I should have got the either or. Oh, it's, coming. So it's coming. Oh, it's coming. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. <laughs> Would you rather have flowers or candy? Flowers. Flowers. Sex in the morning or at night? Morning. Oh, morning. these all of hers have okay. been sweet. <laughs> Would you have romance or loyalty? Mm. <laughs> yeah, you got to think loyalty. about that one. Loyalty. Do you masturbate with porn or not? Neither. Neither. <laughs> what up now? So you saying you don't masturbate? <laughs> That's the one you chose to follow up with. I I mean, really? Really? How come? <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying, you know, never. I mean, never. Have yes. Have yes. Was it was it just you, or was there um, a video going on? Just me. Just you. Yeah. Uh, yes, a toy, or just you know. Keyboard, you know, just uh, with your, you, you click, you click in the mouse. I wanted these lines of questions. I should have said either or. I would have had fun with these. I think I feel robbed. Okay, do you masturbate with porn? No, I don't like porn. You don't like porn? I don't need it. So you just. I know where all my zones Next are. Next question. Yeah, so just click the mouse. Okay. All right, all right. If you had a threesome, would it be with two guys or a girl and a guy? Neither. Neither. No. No. How about you? I, I'm. A, I, you already asked me. My right. <laughs> she's like, she's no fun. Let me go back to you. Already asked me. I'm a mama too. Yeah. 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 Wait, 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 wait. So I have a choice between this. This is Dave. Like, no way. No, I have a choice between the $10 million. $10 million and never one again. Money ain't everything. No, it's not. I don't. Yeah, money is not everything. The two second muscle spasm. So you, you'd rather forget the money? <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. This is double. This is ten million dollars, or just never have an orgasm ever again. Like no way. Nothing. Just dead. <laughs> it's like like they do it. Wait, wait. So if I take the ten the million, million, hold on. Never, never again. So if I take the ten million, then I will never have one. Nothing. Dead. No, the money ain't everything. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ask the question. Yeah, no. No. Mm-mm. Okay. I don't think that's. Hey, I'm with you. No, no, no. I'm with you. Take I, 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 I might take the ten million. I've had a lot. I won't. I'll take the ten million. I've had a lot. I see. I'll be think. <laughs> I think I, I'm thinking no, too deep then. No. Because if I still feel pleasure by touching you, you just said no orgasm. I, I, I can still have pleasure even if I don't orgasm. That's mm. true too. So, and I've I had, had a lot. Think, so I'll take the ten million. I've never had ten million dollars. Yeah. 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 So. Yeah. What is how, See how you go with the money? How will you handle that money, money though? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the money. Listen, you think about that. How old are you? I'm 46. About three more years, you won't be able to do it anyway. She is. 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 She
Hey, you, did, you, 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 you go put the BDR that's, on your oh, hand. <laughs> so you did. Oh, that's all. If I get, hey, if I need him, I get him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ain't on thing. Hey, ain't on thing. Would you rather have a broke man or an ugly man? Broke. Because I work. <laughs> Right. Oh, so Idris Elba would just at the home playing PlayStation. Yes. <laughs> but like, give me Jesse Williams. I don't even know who that is. Jesse he used to be on Grey's Anatomy. Okay. Oh, I don't know. Green Eyes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I know what you're talking about. Mm. Broke man or ugly man? Mm. I work. So. So you ain't working to take care of no man? You're right. <laughs> that woman ain't like, yeah, I ain't know why y'all over here fronting, like, with these words, you know? So, so, uh, so. I can tell you what the answer is, neither. <laughs> so, so, ugly man, so having an ugly man is just that bad? Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> y'all are terrible. Y'all, 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 well, these are not my questions. These are your questions. <laughs> no, you feel free to answer. No, she didn't answer none of my ABCDs. Go ahead. I did. I chimed in. <laughs> you try to take some of the heat off of you ain't answer them. Mm -hmm. You just try to take some of the heat no, off. I mean, yeah. I, I'm with you. I mean, I would rather not. I wouldn't want Wanda from In Living Color, you know. And then, I mean, um, I, see, that's hard because you would want somebody attractive, you know, exactly. like that you're attracted to. Well, you just I mean, they don't have to be attractive to anybody you're, else. You're so a, you're, 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 broke forever. Yeah, but you, you nah, he broke. Like he PlayStation. At yeah. The career, uh, hey, let me. I'm see, a, yeah, but, 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 but you assume you that you just because he's ugly, and take your car. you can't be attracted to, get to you. him. What time do you get you? No, no. So I mean, they let things be attractive, just the physical appearance too. So I mean, you know. That's a large leap See, there. See, being you. broke and being at home playing PlayStation all day, that's going to aggravate my nerve. <laughs> hey, you, when you get home, you, you think you can get I'll that back? I'll, 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 I'll answer the question. Give me the ugly chick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me the ugly chick. <laughs> i take her. Next question. Let me get that. Uh, stop by and get that Madden when, on the way home for me. No. You, no you go get the Madden. <laughs> 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 because that's going to get old, you know? <laughs> it's my goal, yes. isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know to play, man. That's all right. Your highest card, beast card. Mm. <laughs> mm. You ain't got one of them either? Mm. mm. That's all right. We already beating y'all bad. Can you stay over there? My yeah. fault. I didn't mean to say that out loud. I was just thinking it. Mm. See, look at here. Look at you. Mm -mm. See you. Yeah, look at you. Foolishness. Yeah, that's right. Mm. That means it's on me again, huh? There you go. Aww. There you go. Don't worry mm. about it. I got this book. Mm. What's the next question? Would you like your um, toes sucked or your ass licked? Which one would you like? <laughs> Neither. Oh, gosh. Neither. I'll take the toes. Toes. Have you had? <laughs> no. You never know? had either one. You no, one? I have had the toes. You had your salad toss before? Mm -hmm. No. No. Okay. <laughs> so now you. I said, uh, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm not. I'm not answering. I'm already answering my question. Then they hit him up at the bad eye. <laughs> to the regular stuff like if you were you consider yourself a uh, traditional or modern as far as within a relationship traditional value as far as values traditional roles gender roles modern, modern. I, can, I can answer that for modern. modern what do you mean you won't I'm give up your heels <laughs> <laughs> actually traditional oh if you ever watch the old black and white movies the women had heels on in the kitchen cook. that's only because their husband didn't tell them to take them off Mm. Like, mm. Mm. Yeah, mate, <laughs> mate. Um, I I, you, I believe in certain some things right. that 
like I don't want to do. Like I remember this time a long time ago, <sighs> Lewis swore up and down that he was gonna teach me how to change a tire. And I just refused. And, he, <laughs> and I still won't ever because I think I should never have to change a tire because there's AAA, there's men that can always pull over. Or women, I don't care, but it won't be me. You can be, be a stalker, you can be a killer. What are, what are you Either way, about? it won't be me. So there's some things I think are, I don't need to do as a, as a woman. So when, when you're okay, so when you become married, are you going to hyphen? Mm. Like... I thought, I mean, I thought about it. <coughs> okay, if so, I get married, I don't even know if I want to be married anymore. What? Oh, okay, okay, so what if you, what the, well, I mean, if you do, yeah. what, um, and he, okay, what if he's against Hyphen? That's fine. You're agreeing with that. Okay. Okay, that's good. Jennifer, you want Hyphen? <coughs> um, no. Okay. I'll take the last name. That's what I'm talking about. Good deal, man. Man, I don't know. Boy, y'all, y'all, y'all take the name, but boy, ain't no, no, no changing them heels, though. Just by the <laughs> That's right. That's a bit, we give up enough. Exactly. You don't give up enough. Whatever. Our identity. Oh, you don't give up your identity. Mm hmm Yeah, hard. And I played this. I could. You know you weren't even supposed to tell her that part. Hey man, we we well, I, I let you. We give you. I'm supposed to pay attention to the yes, Lord. Yeah. but yeah. I, we let you tell her hearts. But you, hey man, no. wait, 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 wait. Go ahead, man. Space is not my thing. That's, that's all right. right. That's, that's all right. right. That's all right. It ain't his either. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. Do me dirty. Uh, they do me dirty. I mean, I just. There you go. On you now. You're you're now. <laughs> Play that hard. Highest highest card you got. <laughs> Good call. Yeah, good call, because she was going to take them three books y'all had right there. <laughs> <laughs> she said you up for the okie doke. That wasn't a friend. I think oh. I'm done with the game you took me to. <laughs> yeah, she, she had her head hunting now. I know. I know for years. Uh-uh. Play, play. Mm -hmm. well, I like it. She's savage. Man, she, y'all be, be putting that pressure on me. No, man, no pressure at all. You said so, so in Your heart, the highest face card that ain't a... So it's on me. It's my on me. girl. It's my girl. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, Jennifer, you said that you have a um, you have a child. I do. You do. How has that been as far as with dating relationships? So, um, it's actually been kind of difficult, you know, because at the end of the day, I want to keep her separate. Yeah. Out of my dating life. Um. Mm -hmm. Um, with it, but with it just being us, mm -hmm. you know, I'm just we're just dumping it out. You know? mm -hmm. Um. It makes it a little hard, you know? What's the biggest thing that causes it to be difficult? Is it that you you don't want to introduce them to the, key, the, to the guy? Or is it more, you know, you don't want him to get it close and this thing don't work? Or? Right, right, right. So, I mean, of course, I've been in relationships in the past that, ha that haven't, um, I'm okay. Mm -hmm. um, that haven't worked. And, of course, she was introduced to them. So, now I'm taking a different approach. In regards to if I'm dating you, let me get to know you first to see mm -hmm. if you even yeah. worth introducing to her. Um, because at the end of the day, what I go through, she goes through as well. Right. Or what I experience, she experiences as well. And I don't want the childhood trauma and all that right. stuff yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, for her. So just keeping it separate, mm -hmm. um, which sometimes it's difficult. This way. Um, Finding someone to, you know, keep her or, you know, mm -hmm. um, and then she's quite clever <laughs> too. So she can kind of figure things out like, all right, now mommy, usually it's me and her, but now she's getting dressed up to go out. So she's like always kind of digging to kind of figure out what's going, going mm -hmm. what's going on. What's going on. Yeah. So. So not to get too in, you know, you mm -hmm. get too deep into it. How does the relationship of... Or do you have a you know a relationship with child, father, and dating? Is that 
So that has been interesting. Um, I definitely try to keep them in the loop um, as much as possible, only when it's become serious though. Okay. Um, serious to the point of where there's an introduction, okay. you know, of that individual to um, our daughter. Okay. Yeah. Now is he cool with it and when that happens or is he more or less, I need to meet him too. Let me see this You know, thing. honestly, um, did I do that right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, it's kind of been a challenge because our of our communication barrier. Okay. So, of course, I try to be as open as possible with him in regards to the things that's going on with her. Um, okay. But sometimes the reaction isn't necessarily, I guess, what I would expect. Gotcha. I don't know if that makes sense or not. Mm -hmm. um, but I definitely try to keep him in the loop. Okay. As to what's going on, you know, and be respectful as possible because that's his child too. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So when do you know it's time you can introduce him? <laughs> oh. Mm -hmm. Um. I would say that I most recently made this switch and change. Okay. Um, and I haven't honestly gotten to that space or place with anyone. Um, mm -hmm. most recently. Um, so I don't know. I'm kind of feeling this thing out as I'm as, as I'm going. Go. Mm -hmm. Okay. How, okay. Yeah. Okay. That's I mean that's a, that's a good thing to be cautious because you want to know what's what. Right. Um, right. I'm definitely trying to take a different approach. Because I think the biggest thing, like if you're dating someone with a child, is is you know from the outside in if you're dating them, you know their parenting skills could make a difference for the outside person. Right. You know if the kids like talking trash to you. Shut up, mama. And you like, dang. You know, it's just... Right. You know, like, dang, you know, because mm -hmm. that makes a difference. with, Or vice versa. That you date a guy with a child and the child's bad, you know, that could be an issue to this. It's, uh, it's on me. Is oh, it? Is it on me? Mm -hmm. It's on, it's on you. Okay. You got no diamond. Mm -mm. That's all right. Play whatever card you want. Play whatever card you want. Cut them. Since y'all out here telling... Uh, oh, you uh, telling spit and back, man. Whatever you want. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm. We had to do it like that. We were friends, man. You dated anybody with kids before? How's that been? I don't even know if I've dated anybody without kids. Really? Okay. Mm, have I? Maybe I have. Man, I mean, crazy. yeah, I think, I think I have. I mean, one of them, their kid was like older, so like mm -hmm. a teenager. How did it go when you did you meet them? Um, mm -hmm. I know. I'm gonna tell you whatever. Yeah, you like, that's I know. Right. That's I'm just like, you know whatever I throw. I know. I know. I surprise myself sometimes. Yes, <laughs> I. I. Mm -hmm. I told you I had the big guns. No. Okay. Um, High space card. Kinda. <laughs> Other than space. <speed. laughs> Scott. Yeah. What's Scott? You you, 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 you peeked in on a Facetime or something? No, yeah. like yeah. so I would say my first serious relationship. There were kids born in that, and I didn't meet them all. <laughs> what does that mean? Because <laughs> the next question. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Listen, we're here to struggle out here, you know, sometimes. Like, y'all, we letting y'all into our yes. world. So. <laughs> and feel free, y'all can ask us stuff, too. You have kids, kid, I don't even know this. Do you have kids, kid? Mm, no children. No children. Mm -mm. Did you want kids? I did. I, when I was married, I did. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So how do you, like, so what do you do to get a woman's attention? Mm. Oh, yeah, good question. Um, if I see... Oh, is it me? Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. Yeah. No, you do I'm like, um, more or less, what, what, what environment are we in? Just a normal Walmart? Or we at a party or event. Walmart. Hey, sometimes, hey, Walmart. Yeah, hey, Walmart. Yeah, Walmart you might you can meet. Yeah, you everybody can Walmart. Now. You can meet. Except, except you, yeah. <laughs> you don't go to Walmart? I don't. No. Oh, no, 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 no. I didn't tell you that. Papa John's, no Walmart? Yeah. I know we talked, uh, yeah. but I didn't get that one out to you. That's, that, that's a little much. Now. I'm going to throw that out. I was going to be talking about the If I go out now. Oh, yeah, because we was on the Tarjay order, I think. So you just going straight Publix? I prefer Harris Teeter, but we don't I have like a Harris Teeter, so oh, Publix it is. So you, you go to Zoneville, Harris Teeter? No, like, I'm all over. Like, if I, my acupuncturist, she's, um, and... <laughs> <laughs> what was the 
was the sad boy. Oh, no. I was oh, just making sure she was like, that's all I'm <laughs> Hey, I'm in the medical profession. I believe in holistic man. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, if it works. Is it my go? Yes. Okay. I don't know. Caught yeah. me off guard a little no. bit. Punched me in the cheek a little bit. It wasn't your go. Yes, it was. I don't probably no. know. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I'll go to that Harris Teeter. It just depends on where I am in the Tri County mm. area. Okay. Okay. Well, you know. But no, if you, if, if, like, say, say you're in an event or, or whatever. You would um, give me the Walmart call. I want to see how that goes. With a, and, and if you're in Walmart or something, you know, like a, a public place, you're you know you're gonna watch. You're gonna make sure that they're not in there with with someone else. Okay. You did. I did. That's okay. Indeed. Um, that's not okay. Um, We're gonna make stay. it. It's not so good. <laughs> I know. It's on me. But no, you gonna first, first thing you wanna do, just like you would do in a public place, you wanna make sure they're not with someone. Right, you know, you gonna go talk to the girl, and and um, you know, uh, Wayne Johnson comes around the corner, you know, and by the uh, monkey punch you in the back of your neck. You know what I'm saying? You gonna <clears> first see that, I so you you will pay attention yeah. to what they're doing. Like you ever been in an event, and you saw somebody, but you're gonna you kind of see if they whip someone. I do like a decision. Mm -hmm. I, I hear you. But yes, you would do that first. Oh well, that's nice because most guys who approach me, they don't. They don't even care. And then I'll tell them, I'm married. And they're like, mm. can I still have your number? No. <laughs> Didn't I just say I was married? I'm like, if I was your wife, would you want me to give up my number? Right. No one. They right. say no right when you ask that question. No, no one. They're like, but I'm different. You made this, you made this way too hard. <laughs> <laughs> Everything, oh, right? Oh, Everything. Lord. <laughs> you know, I'm going to ask you, but like, don't just show up at me without them. So... Okay, so the Walmart, so you realize after you've peeped that she has nobody. Mm -hmm. Nobody. And then, it's time, and then it's time you make your move. Make your move. So Slide you in. in. You, you, you find them on that aisle with your cart and you... Um, you bump them You, you, you bump them? No, no. Oh. You, you initiate conversation. You can initiate conversation by something was in their cart. That oh, you I see you got them, the maxi pads. How they feel? No. Because <laughs> what if that's the only thing in their cart? <laughs> well, you might not go with that one. Oh, but you know what I'm saying. Yes, okay. You know. Uh, how's that? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> COVID makes a difference, too, though. With these masks. You don't know what you got going on. You know? You don't know what you got. You know, that's very true. COVID, you, you don't know, know what's you know, you, the, the mask. They got pretty eyes, then they take that mask off, and it's like a, a, a bad spade tan on their teeth. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, it look like this. You know, what you going to do with that? Is that a problem? Is teeth important? Of course it is, Miss right. the the superficial bunch you be talking about. Yeah, I'm just saying they they they. We can, you can fix they it. Bottom, this is bottom row. Ugly, ugly or, or broke? <laughs> yo, 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 that was going with the broke guy. Man, we like, do we, do we really got we really got to go down this path? But really, if we yeah. have a choice, then we not. It's yeah. Yeah, I'm just saying, like you know, y'all look at him like he was appalled because he said he talked about uh the space in the front teeth. I mean, you know, y'all took the y'all rather take the broke man than the ugly man. Mm -hmm. He said, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. See how that works. <laughs> Who's it on? It's me. Who else? Okay, so you and like Walmart, you see, to be, so what would you say to that person? Do I throw this for that? Um, yeah. You got hearts. You got hearts. No, I ain't got hearts. You got hearts. You would need to start, you know, just start a conversation, uh, you know. Uh, okay. But you just that like to be clever, you know. Yeah. You want to start off with, I you almost works. Baby. If your partner you're partner talking to someone and date. you see the t-shirt, I mean, don't be date. Or no, you, you see um, something oh, buggy. Or, okay. um, or you can compliment them. Compliment goes a long way. Mm. You know, I like those sneakers you got on. Mm. You know, those, unfortunate. You know, those some nice earrings. Okay. You know, something like that. That's okay. Mm -mm. Either that way they can they can either. Um, <laughs> Oh, don't do me like that. Because either they can smile and it be, you know, as in, you know, continue, mm. or it can be, all right, now I'm good. And they keep it pushing. And then you keep it pushing. Okay. It's on you. Yeah, you got the joke up. You know what? So what if it's at an outing? Hey. Um, like an event, something? Yeah. Not Walmart. Not Walmart. That time you would, um, same thing. I'm going to see where, who they came with, if they're here with someone. Um, who they talk to is actually a great thing. Good Finally stuff. What? We won one? No, no, no. Please, I, I, I hate, it. I, I hate please, to interrupt please, your story. Please, but did you, did, did you pay attention to the difference in his conversation when we asked y'all conversation? 
a plan, very direct. He got plan, bam, bam, bam. Not all this if and maybe. Yes, he I don't does. Know what that's, 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 that's not true. No, he got a plan for different situations. If he meets him in the, in the I, and I gave you different plans too. Louis. No, no, this is this is a scenario. This is a scenario. He's telling you if I meet because it's different, right? If I meet you in the club, it's different than if I meet you in, in a mixer. It's gonna be different, right? So, but it's yeah. a definite plan. He can tell you outline exactly what he's going to do. Hit you, bam! What the what the conversation? It ain't no if he's and then. Huh? He's not original. None of us are. We all got plans. And, and I know approach me like I'm the first person you ever seen. I'm no, just what kidding. is wrong with you? <laughs> this ain't no <laughs> Disney movie. I'm crazy. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm just messing with you, <laughs> Deal. No, I hear what he's saying. No, I, I, I just have plans. I just, I just wanted to no, kind of, if you got, listen. Let's ask him these questions. Now, let's see how he answers. <laughs> Which one? The ABC questions. Yeah, okay, yeah. you can bring them. Really? <laughs> see, he's scared. Like I said, he ain't giving it all. Would you rather call or text a woman? I'm call. Would you rather give her flowers or candy? Oh, that would depend. Now, that is, depends on knowing the woman I uh, have. Oh, okay. I'm gonna, I mean, in real time, I'm going flowers. I got to pick between the two. You prefer sex in the morning or at night? Um. Mm. Yes. Actually, it's like healthier night, in the morning. It is. You know, that's when your testosterone is higher. Yeah, it's healthy. But uh, I mean, night's good. Mm -hmm. I sleep better. You know, a skeet and a rollover is great. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Romance or loyalty? I'm going loyal. Have you ever told the guy you loved him first? Uh, yeah. Really. She's done that too. She said she'll ask a guy else. That so, ain't what was the response? It was just like, okay, you got Doritos? <laughs> did Doritos in the cabinet? Or did, you know, did he say, yeah, I love you of back? Of course. He said, I love you back. Mm -hmm. yeah. Did you feel like he made, you made him? Or did you think it was sincere? Um, so, I would say, been in love three times. The third one told me first. The second one told me first. Okay. The first one. I think he, I think he whispered it when we were in the hot tub, and then, I, yeah, <laughs> I remember, I remember mouthing it. That's what I thought like, he said. Like the, um, but George, I was young, so. George on Seinfeld, olive oil, <laughs> olive oil. <laughs> Just say olive oil. Yeah, I mean. Okay. I mean, most times a dude might say it first. Yeah. Yeah. The last guy said it first. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How about you, Jennifer? You ever said it first? Mm -hmm. Did he say it back to you? Yeah. He, he did. did. Felt it was sincere, you know. After a while. Mm -hmm. It wasn't sincere after a while. Like, yeah, yeah. You start really start seeing, you know, stuff for what it really is. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, but if a woman tell you that, what you supposed to say? I mean, have you ever, if a woman ever told you that, asked you, said that, and you said something different? No. Let me ask. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of like a, yeah, one time. Yeah. One time? Mm -hmm. yeah, so what did you say? What was your response? Did you, did you respond? What was your response? Uh, you know, it's kind of, uh, you you know, you kind of hear it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What does that mean? You kind of hear it and what? What, what is that mean? Did you say it back? Right? No. Mm -mm. I did not. I did not. I feel. I didn't feel that. I, didn't I feel mean, that. well, I'm glad you didn't say it. And no, but I mean, I have. I have had someone say it first, and then I did say it back to. I've done that too, but and but I was feeling. But you it. would feel it, yeah. 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 I've had guys tell me they love me, and I didn't say it back. Yes. Because I mean, that's a that's a cold. That's I mean, that's a that's a that's a that's a, that's a, that's a touchy. Most people, Ooh. when you do say it, you already know the answer. Mm -hmm. You know, you're not gonna be out here. You know. But most times, guys, we don't care because, you know, we're used to rejection. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, Louis, go now. Hey, so, uh -uh. Put it on back. No, no, bad. Y'all waited so long. I thought I was waiting on me. Um, but guys are used to rejection. So, we just... Yeah, just so, me. like, right now, we still kind of in, in pandemic. If you wanted to ask somebody out, like, what's your ideal date? Dinner. Where? Uh, ooh. Will you ask her what she likes, or you just gonna say this could be going? I would ask her. I, you know, I, well, generally in conversation, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? In general, <laughs> 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 well, just, and, don't listen to him. Hey, don't look, 
Lewis? Yeah. Well, look, well, generally you would, um, you know, you have these conversations, so you're going to know which, what they like or don't like. You're gonna, what kind of food you like? So you mean you're going to have conversations before you ask on a date? Absolutely. So you most most of the time you ask what type of food or yeah, what general food, conversation, but food. maybe not necessarily the restaurant or whatever. What type of food you like? You know? Like you said, you're a vegan. You know, I'm not going, you know, you're not going to Brazilian Steakhouse. Right, that's what I'm trying to get him to understand. You can't eat everything. No, it's not, but like I said, it, it's, you know, whenever you make comments, people act like, you know, you mean strict in, in these exceptions is what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. You clearly understand if somebody has a di different eating regimen. Mm -hmm. We're talking about the average person, when they say it, it's, it's like, that's not good enough, I don't do that because I have a higher standard. It's not that I don't eat steak, Okay, yeah. and, and or whatever else. I think you should pay more because I'm worth more type stuff is what I'm getting at. Okay, like, so you would have conversation with this person on the phone and then you plan your absolutely, favorite yeah. date. So what's your ideal date? You just have to talk to that person first? Oh, no, no, no. What's old oh, personally? Right now. No, yeah. I like dinner. Pandemic, okay. Oh, pandemic. Well, we still like where we're like if you were to ask well, somebody out the next month. for most people though. I mean, he's not. He's okay, not so if you were supposed to ask somebody out the next month. Dinner. Dinner. Yeah. Salads. But most of the time I think in general with guys, they talk to the woman and it's they, they don't they don't they don't really care, right? It, it's they're, they're trying to impress the lady from the start, so it's always almost always framed around mm -hmm. what she likes anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cause I, you know what I mean? If you talk to guys, that's the way it normally is now. Sometimes guys don't read the the, the, the clues. I don't know that, you know, you don't eat at old Charlie's. But if you tell me that, hey, I eat chicken tenders, and I know Charlie has it, I might pick on Charlie's. But it's all, it's all, um... <laughs> 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 that is, you know. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, I, I mean, but most of the time, I think if you talk to guys, they, they try to form it around um, what the lady they're talking to, what they like. Right. You know what I mean? We talk about these weird things, but that's not the way guys... In our, like, you know what I mean? In our arena talks about, you know what I mean? If you talk about something totally different, you're talking about a different type of dude. Well, so what are your non-negotiables? You know non Lewis don't like heels. Okay, non-negotiables <laughs> are uh, smoking. Mm -hmm. Smoking. Um, I prefer someone who does not snore. Let's <laughs> <laughs> get him a CPAP. <sighs> I mean, I prefer to not snore. You know, hey, I want to sleep. It's a medical condition. <sighs> you don't want that. You don't want that. It's a medical condition. So, so it's cool for her to be over there with the mask? <laughs> <laughs> After y'all had sex, she said, well, you going to sleep. She put on the mask. What's the point? What's the matter with that? <laughs> and they may not be able to help that they snore. I'm, mm. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Don't I don't mean, be away with nothing else nobody else can accept. <laughs> stick to your stick to your, you don't snow. <laughs> then move and, on. And, but, and um, yeah. uh, waxing. You don't That's want a non wax? negotiable? Prefer to wax, yes. Oh. You gonna pay for it? I'll pay for that. Okay, I'll yeah, pay for that. Oh. I mean, I, that's, I, I, I get that. Okay. I love it. Yeah. Oh. You don't no, I mean, I would just, you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh like that. You don't. Floss, you don't need any extra floss. <laughs> right. Okay. Not that type of floss. Well, you, are you open to shaving down there and getting wet? I am. I'm open to okay. it. Okay. You got an ace. Mm -hmm. No, I ain't going waxing now. But you would shave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I ain't going to be for that. Okay. You're going to roll manscaping. Y'all mm. terrible. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I'm just playing now. <laughs> Well, I wasn't sort of talking about that. <laughs> I was this guy right here. All right. Well, we're going to wrap this. We're going to wrap this up. Dating and relationships 101. The last question. You know, it's just a question. Just kind of give you quick thoughts on it. Um, you know, it's just far off of statistics, you know, that as um, far as women, especially within our community, that there's more African-American women that don't get married. Is that something you ever think about? that majority of African-American women don't get married. Is that something you think about? Yes. You do? Okay. What's your thoughts on that? I, I believe that um, most cultures besides ours, they're taught 
to marry. They're taught how to be in relationships. They mm -hmm. are told, go find that man that's going to take care of you. Growing up, my mom was like, you got to be strong. You got to take care of yourself. You got to be independent. And I believe that is still true of most women of color, black women of color, um, when they talk mm -hmm. to their daughters. That's what it's all about. Like, be strong, take care of yourself, have all these you know, jobs, don't depend on the man. So that's part of the, the dynamic that I think we still experience to this day. Mm. And so it's hard. And like I think some of the things that like Lewis says, so there's the, the compromising on a lot of different things doesn't work because that's not the messages that are indoctrinated in young black girls. When, mm. okay. And then they don't see, and then they're growing up and most of them don't see the, a healthy relationship. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. yeah. and they don't, and, and they don't see just relationships. I and mean, people, right. yeah, because people think that this relationship is some kind of perfect thing. You gonna have right. ups and downs right. and whatever all the time. And you don't see that. So, I think most people are just chasing this dream of mm -hmm. what they think a relationship is like, and everything's gonna be perfect all the time. And that's not just what it is. It's gonna be ups and downs. It's gonna be fights. It's gonna be whatever else. Right. But you know, that's I think that's what the biggest thing that's is. People don't see it and know what it is. Right, right. Mm -hmm. And just to piggyback, because that's the same thing, of course, me being a single mom, I mean, it's always been my desire to be married. It's just, you know, my relationships haven't, haven't been successful. Um, but like you said, like, that's all I've known when it wasn't successful and I was hurt, broken. It's like, okay, you're going to have to get, pick yourself back up, get, mm -hmm. get, you, get yourself together, you know, like type thing, be strong. I'm trying to be strong for, you know, my daughter who's watching me. But... I haven't had the example of a successful marriage, you know, um, or, you know, like relationships. Like, how do I go about navigating relationships and when things don't go right, like you said? Um, yeah. yeah, but in my mind, I'm like, am I going to get married? Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. like, am I going to get married? Is there someone out there that I'll meet that will be able to compromise and come together? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Okay. Um. And before we close, last question. Yeah. This is the last question. How is, um, I didn't know your personal background. Did you have father figures or, you know, a man that you saw that treated a woman well? My dad died. I was two. Okay. okay. But my mom had remarried. Um, you know, so I had step stepdad. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, just general, like... Right. But I read books, so I, okay. I was a heavy reader, so mm -hmm. I, or again, you. knew about, like, in my mind at the time, what healthy, like, healthy relationships mm -hmm. were. I think Lou is picking on me because he says I'm romantic. Um, <laughs> but I used to read, and I remember, like, six and seven, I used to read my mom's romance novels, which mm -hmm. is all, like... My dad used to call them trash novels. Yeah. <laughs> I used to get mad. Yeah, yeah they had... I used to read all of them, and I, I think at first she didn't even know it, because I just loved to read, mm -hmm. um... But just in general, I just, yeah. and back, you know, relationships, watching TV. Yeah, yeah. I mean, because we all grew up in, you know, a Cosby era where we thought, you know, yeah. you, know you know. Yeah, so um, my dad actually was married, um, but it wasn't necessarily a good example of a marriage. Mm -hmm. It was toxic. Gotcha. You know, so, um, yeah. <laughs> it's like, how do you? Gotcha. Yeah. I gotcha. I mean, and that, you know, that plays a role. I mean, because in our generation, you know, I'll speak for myself and, you know, uh, you know, not for Lewis. You know, we, our generation of parents were, they were preparing us for the world. Mm -hmm. You know, because they came out of, well, at least my parents came out of segregation. So, going to, cause they were, both my parents were the first person they, in their family to ever graduate from college. So, you know, they were preparing us, preparing us for the world. Mm -hmm. So, maybe we, we didn't get the, like, the, you know whatever right you know whatever i guess we're part of living the world as interacting relationship wise but they were that was their focus you know you educate clothe them feed them put them out here they right. right that world but i mean um and that's just kind of like how that generation and then that's kind of like how our kids now are a little different than how we were right. they're a little bit more emotionally aware and mm -hmm. know of things you know primarily because they're just raised differently on certain things. Um, before I close the show out, anything else, Lou Diddy? Yeah, the only thing that I'd like to say about how big the actual scene, the relationship, I listen to a lot of people about relationships. And me, you know, I've, I've been raised in a two-family household. 
and a lot of the ideas of what they think relationship is, it's just, it's not true. Right. You know what I mean? It just, just in general with people that I know, um, and it's not realistic. I think that's mm -hmm. what the downfall with a lot of people. They think it's some fantasy that mm -hmm. all these different things. And to be honest, it's a lot of negotiation. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of, yeah. And then everything that, like an argument, they use the word toxic. Everything's toxic. This is what? Mm -hmm. It's a relationship. Mm -hmm. This is what this goes. You go through ups, downs, whatever right. else. Right. That's just what it is. You just got to be committed to it, to work through it, and try to figure this thing out. And, and do what's in the best interest of the kids. I do feel like sometimes things, if it goes way off the hinge where physical or any of that stuff is, it's bad. But I think a lot of times we send this false narrative of what a relationship is mm -hmm. and nobody can achieve it. Right. Mm -hmm. That's good. And that's why things are just upside down. But me being in it, I've seen my, my dad yelling at my mom and whatever else. I've seen my mom, whatever else. She hung in there because the most important thing was the kids. But what for her doing that and making those sacrifices, in the same way, like I said, a lot of times you don't get in the middle of their relationship as parents to take sides because you don't know what's going on behind the scenes. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Absolutely. You don't know what my, my dad told my mom or what that relationship was going on, but there's just certain effects that you see, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you understand that at the end of the day, they stuck together, and you see the fruit of what they produced because they were willing to stick together. No matter what anybody else says it is and whatever else, whatever anybody's opinion, the product is what they produce mm -hmm. is undeniable. Absolutely. And that, I think that's what's important. Thanks. Thanks. Well, we appreciate y'all for... Uh... Uh, joining us on this episode, uh, Mr. Nell, Jennifer, we appreciate you. Thank you. Um, and thank you for joining us um, and uh, continue to watch us here at the Jack Moons Podcast and, um, you know, continue to follow our uh, episodes and, and please subscribe to our channel. Please subscribe and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, IG, or YouTube. You can also listen to our podcast on iTunes, iHeartRadio, Spotify, or wherever you listen to your podcasts.